Hello there guys, welcome to Perfect Date. This is our Valentine's Day special, however, not streamed on Valentine's Day, because unfortunately last week, during Valentine's Day, I was ill. So I had to delay this until this week. So, could you, could you, could you guys watching at the moment, could you just pretend this is actually Valentine's Day? Do you feel the love? Do you feel the love? Can you please answer me? Do you feel the love? You know, do you have enough left over from Valentine's Day to bring over here? I haven't got many expectations regarding this game, but if there's not an option to date all the cats and become a crazy cat lady, nor any mention of the love cats by The Cure, then it's failed as a cat dating game. I, 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 I yeah, I, I strongly agree. What is love? Baby, please hurt me. Please hurt me. Samar. I'm glad you feel it, Brian, and a big welcome to yourself. So, yes, if you remember, uh, you guys who have been around for a good while now, I think maybe, was it three years ago now? During Extra Life, I, I did a game called Hustle Cats, which I thought was a cat dating sim. It turned out not to be, it was just a huge visual novel which um, was about people who turn into cats. I was a little bit disappointed because I wanted to date cats, and that's not what I got. I was sold on being, you know, dating cats, but it, it was an alright game. So, this game, Perfect Date, I think is actually going to fill that need, finally, to date an actual cat. I mean, look at it. Just look at that logo. I, I hope it is about actually dating cats, because, you know, I... I, I anyway, let's get into this, shall we? We've got a house to play, and I haven't really done any testing on this. Probably should have beforehand, but... Oh, here we go. How to play. You can progress the story by hitting either the space or enter button. You see that? That's a uh, very good drawing of a space and enter button there. Alternatively, you can progress the story by left-clicking here. Uh, in... okay. Got it. Snooty booty. What the... What's even going on there? It's like a really... Is that supposed to be the same cat? Just... Maybe a picture of it as a kitten. Uh, that was a phantom notification. That or notification sounds are working, but the actual notifications aren't. If anyone has done anything, feel free to tell me, because, yeah, things aren't working as they should be at the moment, so I do apologise. Number three, if you're feeling a little spicy, you could even progress the story by left-clicking this icon. I've got a love heart here. Useful. And then, number four, rest to restore your health. Running out of hearts may have consequences. Oh dear, don't want to be out of love, do we? Number five, finishing three research events will result in the completion of your contract, ending your current chapter. So make sure you've done everything you want before finishing your research for the professor. And then, just above my head, I'm going to duck down like that so you can see this. Six, keep, your, uh, keep an eye out for anything odd. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it might lead to some fun extras. Okay guys, you ready for this? Is it similar to Amorous? I certainly hope not, because I don't want to get banned from Twitch. Just right about now, you know. Uh, so. Hello there, Akam, welcome back. Hello there, 30 hours, Kerr as well. What else we got? Uh, we didn't- We don't mention that thing, nor it's crazy. <laughs> oh, I- I- I liked- uh, something to mention about Amorous is, I, I did mention this a few streams back, but I do like that game, but only for the writers. Some of the writers are really good. Uh, you've got to take into consideration the person who actually brought together the project and animated and all that, whatever his name was, I remember, it turned out to not be a great guy in the end. He didn't actually write the story, so you can kind of like peel off that and then think about what you know like who else put effort into the project and yeah you get what i mean jason effects and uh, yes yes they are they I, I absolutely agree with you there floofy doofy uh uh what's that the, the, this game is safe right i mean yes i think i hope <laughs> otherwise yeah i this will be my last stream on twitch guys so let's play shall we What's this? No game in progress, 0% of total game seen, 0 out of 18 endings, oh dear. Zero secrets found. Uh, we've got chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's start a new game. 
It's a perfect day, so and yes, I do have my mouse cursor visible from this uh, for this stream. Well, no, visible for this stream, um, so that you guys can actually see where I'm clicking. I don't normally, of course. Oh, we can click a random. I always love doing this. Actually, what have we got? Kevin. So, which one of these people looks like a Kevin? I think this uh, lovely young uh, person down here definitely looks like a Kevin to me. Oh god, that doesn't look at a thing like. I guess it's the enhanced detailing. You know, I, I, they don't end up looking the, the very same, do they? Is their little picture. I mean, actually, there's some similarities between these two and the picture on the right-hand side, but... Yeah, her face shape, shape even, like, changes, doesn't it? Outbreak Kevin. <laughs> Name the person after you. That's boring. That's boring. Uh... Alright, so let's go as Kevin. There we go. Hello there, frog. Autosave notification. This game supports an autosave feature. Please don't turn off your game while it is saving. I'm an angel and I accept, or I'm a devil and I reject. What? Okay, just for the sake of comedy, I'll click that. Oh, it's done nothing. Oh, wait, maybe... Cat devil. <laughs> Well, well, what do we have here? It looks like a human. It smells like a human. And I'm sure it will taste like a human. And yet it calls itself a devil. How is that even possible? All the universe, above and below the earth, knows that I am the devil. The one and only, the original and everlasting. You sniveling, lying, trembling creature, allow me to school you in the ways of hell. You call yourself Kevin? I believe I do, yes. And yet, you and I both know that is a lie. Oh, you are my minion, Alonzo. <gasps> he knows my real name. <laughs> he hacked my Steam account. How could you, cat devil? You are in my domain now. There is only one voice to listen to, one authority to be obeyed. One will to serve. I am the master of everything. But, Alonzo Ryan, I am a sporting devil too. It, it would be so easy to crush you into eternal damnation right here, right now. But where's the fun? So, this will be, uh, this is what I'll do. You have a chance, a slim one, of redemption. Answer the following question correctly, and you may escape my clutches for now. So I have the option, yes, yes, I'll do anything you say, oh great master, or do your worst horn dog. <laughs> I think I'll um, go for the, 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 this gamer's curse and uninstall it. All right, stream's over, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's do your worst. Let's go with that, shall we? Up yours, horn dog. That's not quite what I picked, Kevin, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I just noticed the cat over here. It doesn't look like it's having a very good time, does it? What's going on up here? Oh, there's just cats falling into hell. That's pleasant. And whatever this is. A cat kind of sat up here with horns. Watch it crash the PC. <laughs> Got to go. Uh, thank you for coming by, Floofy Doofy. Hopefully see you again soon. Uh, I'm not going to continue laughing before I just completely destroyed my vocal cords before we've even started. But yes, he is doing a lot of that. Just save the game. Should I be worried? Chapter one. Stats. I see. Quiz. What else? I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear the deck lad shout. Island approach. Make yourself ready. This is this is Joe. There's a very. It looks like he has some severe sinus issues, or forgot to put sun cream on his nose. One or the other. You know. I'm finally here. When I applied last month, I was just another broke student living off of baked beans, and I didn't really think I had a chance of being accepted to be part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. Oh, I love that holy fish paste. It's a guy, six. Well, come on in. How are you doing? All right. 
Yes, here it is. The little black dot in the distance, you see it over here, growing bigger by the second, is the infamous Cat Island, the place I will call home for the next few months. My heart momentarily skips a beat. What if there's a mis what if there's been a mistake? What if they accepted someone else's application and accidentally sent the offer to me? I rummage about in my bag until I find the papers. What do we got here? DPRI. What's that stand for? DP. I don't want to know what that stands for. Corporation. Uh, okay, it's got something to do with cat, cats. Cats and Island? Cats. Island. I guess that could be... Um... Or maybe, I think we might find out. Dear Kevin, we are pleased to be able to offer you a position, uh, sorry, the position of research assistant to Professor Pauper at our research facility on Cat Island. The position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. Or sincerely, Professor Pauper, PhD, BSc, Honours, DPG. What the hell is DPG? We're getting a lot of DPs. I, I, I'm a little bit worried. So if there's a cat island uh, that has cats that talk, wouldn't they take over the world? Most probably, yes. Or knock it off the uh, out of the universe, you know, given how they like to knock things off of shelves. Probably just knock it out of orbit. Don't we all want to live on a cat island? I, I most certainly do. This is Kevin. He escaped Raccoon City. <laughs> He's also apparently got very blonde and had a sex change as well, but you know. Uh, what do we got? Stats. Rest. Okay, so we got four hearts. Romance and research. And what's the last one, sorry? Recon. Sounds like something our good old Kevin can do. No. No mistake. That's my name. Right there in the top left-hand corner. How many Kevins are there in the world, guys? Kevin. And there's his name at the bottom, the genius behind this whole operation. I wonder what happens if you put your actual name at the beginning. Professor Pauper, science genius, and my new boss. I look up from my papers to see dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rocks. As we get closer, we're not slowing down, and I begin to worry we're going to crash into them. Then, at the very last moment, we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly, we're sailing smoothly towards a jetty through an opening in the rocks. I blow out the breath that I've been holding and break into a smile. Smile just like this, guys. Nicely done, Skipper. This island looks so cute. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, but if you insist. The ferryman comes out from behind the steering wheel, ignoring my attempts to, uh, at what? Camaraderie? Camaraderie, I suppose. And shoots, uh, sh sorry, shouts, rather bullet, uh, I can't pronounce that. Take all your belongings. We won't be back for days, so don't leave nothing you'll need. Thank you. I smile weakly at the ferryman and his son and pick up my bags, ready to disembark. We glide seamlessly up to the wooden jetty, and the son uh, leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in a uniform, who I take to be a security officer of some kind. mispronounced word counts. Uh, you'll, you'll experience a lot of those, especially if we're doing Bloodborne reading. Zane Jones, why does he get a surname? I'm jealous. Joe. Sir, caught you a mouse. And then he laughs loudly, as though he said the funniest thing he's ever heard. It's very disconcerting. That's why I suggest it. <laughs> the security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. Let's be having you then. He holds out his large hand. Does he have one small hand and one large hand? So he's holding out the hand that happens to be the largest, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boat. But as I reach out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance so that I almost fall over the side. What a great start. 
ID card? Oh, I see, of course. I reach into my back pocket and hand over the laminated card I was given on the mainland. Ah yes, it's me, Kevin. Date was issued, it was, uh, wow. Uh, guys, it's currently 2017, it would seem, and January the 1st as well. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be today's date. It certainly seems very mild for January, doesn't it? Meow. Meow. Oh, we're saving again. We clearly have progressed. He's a cat in disguise, aren't they all? He barely looks at it before striding off, grunting over a shoulder. In this way. I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush and green. I'm already under its spell. After no more than a couple of minutes trekking, we're in base camp, which consists of a large, uh, sorry, I've had a large there, of an, an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid looking structures, one larger, that's where I got my large from, and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. The whole camp is moderate, but functional. It reminds me of an army outpost. I'm struck by the lack of people. In fact, there's no one around apart from an older woman sitting outside, peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her, uh, I smile and give her a little nod, but she just stares back at me. God damn it, Mrs. Marigold. Try not to get paranoid. Delicious potatoes. I'm just going to eat all of them. Here. I feel like I should have the option. Oh, we're supposed to be looking out for things, by the way, guys, aren't we? I forgot about that. He stops at the largest of tents, indicating that I should go inside. I feel rude just walking in, so I make my presence known first. <clears throat> Hello. A firm but friendly voice calls out. Come. I was Professor Pauper. I see. I walk in. Uh, I walk in and there he is, hunched over some document. The great Professor Pauper. Sir, it's an honour to meet you. Yes, yes. You must be Kevin. Come in, my dear. Glad to have you on board. Good journey. Well, long. Yes, indeed. We're rather tucked away here. Let me offer you some refreshment. Water? Coffee? Something stronger, perhaps? Whiskey? Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm so... <laughs> Excuse me. We have four options. We have... I'm fine, thank you. Just some water, if you have some. We have... It would be rude to not... <laughs> to let you drink whiskey on your own. Or finally, we have... I'd love a cup of tea. If there's a pot on the go, I think... I think we're going with whiskey on the guys. I think we are going with the whiskey. Well, if you have been one, it would be rude to let you drink whiskey on your own. Jolly good! I can tell you and I are gonna get along famously. He takes a swig from the bottle and passes it to me. I try not to show my self-consciousness and uh, sur surreptitiously <laughs> wipe the neck of the uh, with my sleeve before taking a modest sip. You don't do that. Shameful. Except other people's saliva. It will take you a while to find your way around and discover how it all works. So, for today, I thought uh, I would just uh, get you kitted out and maybe introduce you to some of the locals. The cats, that is. I believe you've already met uh, most of our human locals. No? I've only met the ferryman and the security guard who brought me here. Hey, this looks like my bedroom. Oh, God. <laughs> Mine, well, you've probably, you've seen mine before, haven't you, Mac? You know, it's uh, it's very well organised for the most part. Yes, that's about it. And the lady outside? Ah, Mrs. Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretakers. Wonderful couple. The Marigolds. You'll meet them before too long. We're a tidy little family here, Kevin. And, um, oh, we're, we're a tidy little family here. Kevin and I'm sure you'll fit in nicely? Oh, Kevin, right, okay, sorry, I'm Kevin, aren't I? Sorry, I thought referring to someone else called Kevin. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Okay, so first things first. 
This is your basic kit. Uh oh. He begins going through a pile of things on his disc, explaining each of them in turn. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it. We will be uh, going on plenty of field trips, so it'll be very useful. As will your water bottle. Some disinfectant, hand spray. Ah, these are heavy duty reinforced gloves, which are essential when tagging cats out in the wild. You already forgot your own name. I won't deny it. <laughs> don't want any scratches from felines we don't know now, do we? I suppose not. I shove each item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Likewise, these goggles are to be brought along on all field trips. This lot here. He indicates to a small pile of what looks like laundry. There's a basic uniform. Lab coats, masks, stethoscopes, uh, eh? Oh, etc. Right. More formal spelling of it. Portable first aid kit. Camping knife with all tool attachments. Finally, and without doubt, most importantly, uh, are we going into the forest again? I mean, the video game. This! He holds up something that looks like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't one. This is a catalogue! Oh god! <laughs> oh, what a pun. Catalogue. Hmm. Yes, the name comes from its earliest version. It was initially designed to record and store data on the cat, scan them, and log their details. But, as you see, we've come a long way since then. I was hoping the important bit of uh, is a piece of string. Oh, yeah, yarn or something like that. Pokedex for cats. Haha! <laughs> Yes. Now, you can use it to communicate with the rest of our team. I've added everyone's contacts, details for you, listen to music, uh, take photos. There's even a pen that comes with it to insert microchips into the back of cats' necks so that we can keep track of them. It is a very valuable piece of equipment. Kevin. I, I gotta keep on reading it like my name isn't Kevin. Let's try that again. It's a very valuable piece of equipment, Kevin. And I need you to protect it above all else. Do you understand? I feel I do. Catalogue. Hmm. He's looking direct at me directly in the eye and clearly expects a response. Uh, yes, sir. Of course. I will look after it. Good. You'll get to know all the functions as you go along, but for now, I suggest we take a stroll out and see if we can find, uh, sorry, if we can't find a few friends to introduce to, uh, you to so that you can try it out. He hands me the gadgets. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but also really keen to give it a go. Or to have a go. If any of my stats increase, yes. Saving. I like the music so far. We head down to the beach. The professor is explaining things as we go. The mixture of terrain on Cat Island is quite unique. Even is uh, sorry in such a relatively small area, you'll find forest, mountains, jungle, beaches, woodlands. Um, all of these different geographical, uh, ge geograph geological, sorry, and ecological zones in one place. It is really, uh, it really is most remarkable. It certainly is. Even the lack of wildlife is, in itself, quite remarkable. What do you mean, Professor? Well, put simply, there is a type of force field that surrounds the island, disallowing anything to enter. Uh, you mean literally anything? Absolutely. No birds, fish. What creatures of any kind can penetrate it? How the bloody hell do the cats live, then? Oh, I mean, I guess one that it might already have its own ecosystem with. But Jeanette, the, the death barrier, yes! Forgive my lack of intelligence on this subject, but, um, we're here. The professor lets out a disconcertingly loud laugh. Ha 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 ha! Ah, I see what you mean. Well, there is, of course, one small break in this invisible wall, and that is where we built the jetty. But let's not get too bogged down in all this right now. What? 
what you do need to know is that basically the island is shaped like a peanut. Ooh. He picks up a nearby stick and draws a simple map in the sand. I, I don't know. We're, we're inside a deaf barrier. I heard deaf. Oh, oh right. Yeah, uh, we're inside a deaf barrier. That's all you need to know. This, our end of the island, is very well known. This here, you see it. Uh, to us, to us now. We've been researching here for many years. The other end, probably over here, I'm gonna guess, uh, unless that's not a marking he made, is not so familiar to us. We have encountered difficulties that have hindered our progress in this in the region. You clearly haven't been eating many peanuts recently. I mean, it looks more like a walnut, doesn't actually? Um, oh, so the peanut walnut? Oh god, I don't know. What type of difficulties, Professor? Well, we're not as sure as we'd like to be, uh, but what I can tell you is that the environment has an adverse effect upon humans, inducing nausea. Uh, that's not very good, at the very least. And peanut before you shell it, yeah, I guess. And at the worst, fainting, migraines, possibly nerve damage, or possibly. Gosh, that is serious. As I say, it's best to keep away, but let's not go into all that right now, my dear. No, I don't that. You've had a long day, for now. Let's say that we refer to the far end of the island as the danger zone, with good reason. Can we fly right into it? I must ask you not to put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain range here. He refers to the map once more, drawing a line just past the center, and an X through the end section. Can't do that. There we go. There are wild, aggressive cats out there. I won't want you getting close to them. It's probably going to turn you into a cat, I hope. <laughs> Unlike a lovely f uh, fellow's closer to home. That's pretty much what happens in Hustle Cats as well. Spoilers. He had led me to a spot where a few cats are lounging about. What do you say we try your catalogue now, Kevin? Why am I saying Kevin so aggressively now? He stoops down and picks up one of the animals, a disgruntled looking cat who was sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. Kevin has been running around Raccoon City, uh, he's exhausted. <laughs> oh my god, so fluffy. Cat lets out a dis a displeased a displeased meow, but got hiccups. But doesn't struggle. It's a large body, billowing, billowing. What on earth does that mean? I'm gonna guess it means like um, overextending, with um, long orange fur. It just sort of hangs in the professor's arms in a lazy resignation. Would you like to have a go at scanning this delightful chap? It's a big boy. I mean, like, is this to scale? That That's a gigantic cat, if that is the case. Unless this guy's really, really small. He could be, like, four foot tall, for all we know. I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activates it. The gadget immediately comes to artificial life, emitting a boop, boop, boop sound with a red pulsating light. I select the app uh, labeled Cat Scan. Uh, oh! There we go, Luna. Why did that come through like the, you know, like much later? It looks nothing like his photo. Um, I have no idea what you're referring to because yeah, sorry guys. If you if you didn't know already, um, subscriptions seem to be a bit broken. There's the alerts. Oh right, okay. Um, I'm not actually getting notifications for them or anything like that. So yeah, but thank you so much, Luna. Thank you. It looks nothing like his photo. Do you, do you mean this guy? Or like, has that come through late, or...? It wouldn't share before, then it came back up again. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but I do apologize for that. In, in, in Twitch's stead. Because they don't seem to have actually mentioned anything about it. Crookshanks from Harry Potter. I don't know what you're on about, unfortunately, Zen. I really... Uh, Garfield. <laughs> I um, only ever watched the first two Harry Potter films, and that was many years ago, and I began reading the first book when it first came out, and didn't really like it much as a kid. 
It's kind of aiming at my generation, actually, that those boots were, because they came out when I was about eight, I think, or nine or something. As you probably know, huge phenomenon. The Doctor looks nothing like the photo. Oh, I get you. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Hello there, Kieran. Thanks for hosting. The orange cat is now Garfield. Okay, yeah, sure. Can, I, how does Garfield sound? He sounds really unenthusiastic, doesn't he? I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Anyway, I select the the app label cat scan and it loads instantly. There's no delay on this thing. The professor holds the cat towards me with arms outstretched. I'm sure he said the scanning chip is implanted into the back of the neck somewhere, but it's difficult to find this one's neck amidst all the thick cloud of fur. Just a big boy. Oh my god, I saw my cat for the first time in two months the other day. She's huge. I don't know what the bloody hell my mum and my stepdad have been feeding her, but she's like doubled in size. She's now waddling about. I, I, I don't much appreciate it. She needs to get some exercise. <laughs> no delay on this thing. The, uh, that catalogue got uh, good processing. Yeah, yeah. It's running on a um, Ryzen... Uh, oh god, I don't even know what the latest one was. Series of numbers, sure. Well, it's big, fat, and lazy. Oh, he's a good boy, though. Look at him. I'm gonna ruffle him and cuddle him. I blow to make a parting and pr pardon? I blow to make a parting and press the catalog to his skin. Oh, right. Blow the hair. I okay, right. I was wondering what. What are you blowing? It's a bit like scanning groceries in the supermarket where I used to work. It looks angry. Most cats do. That should do it. That includes myself. And he plops the mar- uh, it, the- Oh, the marmalade tom! Sorry, I thought- I was wondering what the bloody hell is he on about marmalade for now? What, what, what is he on about marmalade? Tom, back into the shades. Description for his colour. I get it. Sure enough, upon withdrawal, I find the cat has- has been successfully scanned. Alonzo already getting confused with blowing <laughs> Hey, Just imagine Bill Murray speaking, and you have Garfield. Meow. Fluffy butt. Excuse me? No, that is an accurate representation of this, Luke. I've got to read this in the Pokedex voice. God, how does it sound? Oh my god, I've forgotten. Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon. It's been so many years since I've... Fluffy butt. Name. Fluffy butt. Gender. Male. Age. Ten years. Four months. Breed. Red tabby. Persian. I call it red. No, oh, it's not really a description, so it doesn't work as well. I love <laughs> that picture at the top. I just spotted it before I went away. Amazing. Clever, isn't it? A large part of your job here will uh, will be to tag and scan the cat, such as Mr. Fluffy Butt here. Is that his actual name? Oh my god, that's his actual name. But it looks... Like, you'll have no problem at all in that area. Excellent work, Kevin! Should have wind read with his singing, yeah. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to get started. Well, why don't you get a bit more practice with the catalog and scan the rest of them while you're here. Oh, while we're here, sorry. Uh, these five spend a lot of time together. They're like a f little family, aren't you? Oh, yes you are. Professor seems to be a genuine cat lover like me. <laughs> yes, sure I am. I think I think we're gonna get on great. It's the kitty dick. <laughs> Dex! Dex! Yes, I definitely did not say anything other than that. Sorry. Um <laughs> I didn't thank you actually. Um I I did I did say thank you very much for following Nif by but I don't think you were here when I did, because I think you followed when I was offline, so yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I know, I slip up on words so much. Always in the worst possible way. Time for me to depart. Thanks for the stream, uh, for the streamy cuties. A thunderstorm decided to hit my city. Heck, I hope you'll be okay. Don't get electrocuted and die. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I used to be terrified of thunderstorms when I was younger. I'm not so much now, though. Now, why are you talking to the uh, to the doctor on a beach setting? Because of the island. Uh, this is the cat island. We're doing research on the cats. He is the professor. Professor for pauper. 
Uh, hopefully see you again too. I'll try that again. Hopefully see you again soon, Tomb Explorer. Thanks for coming by. And uh, well, I hope to catch your stream as well. What else we got? Uh, the guys who published this also did I Am Bread, really now. They did publish. Publish. Are you, is it the same developers though? Hang on. On my phone. Sue so Shelby. I don't know if it, it's the same publishers. Doesn't really matter because anyone can publish anything. I mean, like, Square Enix published Final Fantasy, um, and then that horror game that the guy who originally made, um, what's it called? Resident Evil originally made. Perfect date. I think it's the same developers as it. Bosses Studio. That's the name of it. Okay. Developers, no, it's um, the developers called Bay Team. The publisher's called Bosses Studios. And Bay Team previously have only made this game, it seems. Team Tempest based systems, let's see, shall we? I think it is just that they've only made this. I'll just turn the volume off my phone. Bay Team. Yeah, because publisher, like, uh, Evil Within, that's the name of the other one. Like, Final Fantasy Evil Within, they've also published Life is Strange as well, the, or, and Tomb Raider. Uh, no, they've only ever made Perfect Date. Only ever made this before. Yeah, big difference between developers and uh, between publishers. Developers make the game, publishers just get it out there, if that makes sense. Okay, here goes. No, t no, no help this time. Oh no, we're going in. We're going in dangerously here. The professor steps back. Oh no, the first cat I approach is very friendly with beautiful calico markings. What the hell is calico? I've always wondered that. Like, what does that mean? Do any of you guys know? Ouch. Oh, yes. It comes towards me, already purring. Oh, wow! It's Trixie. Oh, you're adorable. Uh, meow. Trixie. Name. Trixie. Gender. Female. Age. Three years, eight months. Breed. Calico American Shorthair. Oh, it's the breed of cat. Right, I see. Bethesda published Evil Within. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? Sorry, you're right. Yeah, B Bethesda also made uh, published, um, you know, Fallout New Vegas. So clearly, it's a prequel, both set in the same universe, along with Skyrim. Anyway, um, I call it green. I don't know how the Pokédex sounds. I've forgotten. Next is an elegant, sleek, hairless cat sitting gracefully in the sun. She doesn't pay me much attention and allows me to scan her with minimal fuss. Oh god, Snooty Booty. What? Meow. <laughs> Snooty Booty. Gender, female. Age, 11 years, 1 month. Breed, Sphinx. Eye colour, blue. I like this little wink that's going on here. Put a lot of effort into these little pieces, I'm like. The fourth cat I approach is a noisy one. Oh my god, he's adorable! McMurphy. I mean, they all are so far. Mow, 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 mow. Is that good enough? <laughs> McMurphy. Gender. Male. Age. Six years. Breed. Brown. Crossbreed. Eye color. Green. I know, they're so different, aren't they? I, I forgot you can click the heart, can't you? And finally! The one I've deliberately put off until last. He's been shulking around the edges of uh, the activity, eyeing me suspiciously, as though he could pounce me at any moment. <laughs> I laugh at myself, already projecting personalities onto these animals. <laughs> wow! That expression. Oh, and that expression. That's uh, slight different. That one looks like, well, you know. I was thinking something kind of dodgy at the moment, just thought up a really bad joke, I don't know. And then this one down here, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to make of this. I can't hear it. It's good enough. Kibbles, gender, male, age, three years, breed, white British long hair. Oh god, Royal Britannia plays, guys. I call it green. Looks like you farted. <laughs> All done. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the locals. The professor lets out a little laugh. Ha! 
I have a feeling you'll get, you'll get to know them quite well in time. That's probably enough for your first day, don't you think? Uh, I've read that in a more sinister way than it probably came across. It's quite a lot to take in. I'm suddenly exhausted. I'm grateful to be heading back to camp. Just another, you know, just going to a loading screen, I hope. Saving screen, should I say. That is a very nice fork there. It's quite late by the time I've unpacked and settled myself, but I want to write my journal entry before I sleep. I'm surprised at how chilly it is. I've pulled my sleeping bag right up to my chin, but I still feel goose pimples bloom over my arm. Shivering, I rub them to warm up, uh, warm myself up. It makes me smile to think this inherent reaction to uh, the cold is what will be keeping my new feline friends warm tonight. No. My eyelids close, thinking of cats, and the island, and the professor. My laptop really doesn't want me to watch this. The chat doesn't work, so I refresh the chat. Then uh, the video freezes, rinse, repeat, oh dear. Sorry to hear that. The world around me drifts away as I, uh, as I float up into a dream. I'm not sure how long I've been asleep, but some really um, distressing music has started playing. But I wake up with a violent jolt that leaves my sitting bolt up. What? Leaves me in sitting uh, right. Leaves me sitting bolt upright. It's too dark to see anything, but I hear a rustling and then a strange electronic noise. One that, in my sleepy confusion, I can't place right away. Acting on instincts, I scramble to my feet and follow the noise out of the tent. I look around me, and my fears are confirmed when I catch sight of a pulsating red light getting fainter in the direction of the forest. I snap into action, running as fast as I can. Barefoot, dressed in my pajamas. What's going on here? It's kind of overlapping. Running at full speed into the forest in the dark of the night. I must be crazy. The words of Professor Pauper are ringing in my ears. I need you to protect it above all else. My legs are trembling beneath me. I stop, feeling my heart beat heavy throughout my body. I wheeze in and out, my breath billowing in front of me in white puffs. I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I so dizzy? I try to get my bearings and realize I've blundered perilous, perilous, uh, perilous, perilously close to the danger zone. Oh no. I can just make out the shapes of some large animals in front of me. All my eyes close and I drop to my knees. I'm, we're, we're dead. It's game over, guys. This is the first ending, isn't it? We die. What's my stats doing? I've done a lot of running there. Did I increase my stamina? Strength? Anything like that? Um... Oh, right, sorry. Ellipsis. I didn't even spot that. No. Disappointing. You died! I open my eyes. The calico cat I scanned yesterday is sitting in front of me. She drops a cat uh, the catalogue at my feet. Excuse me? I just saw some text come up there. Pass out. Yeah, it's the beginning of Bloodborne. We're gonna wake up in the Hunter's Dream, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god, okay, they do actually talk. I thought they would do at some point, but yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? What kind of voice is he gonna have? I, 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 I don't know. Um, what was his description? I'm waiting. What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? What are we all waiting for? What class is a catastrophe here? Can you die? I, I don't know what class is a catas catastrophe is. Whatever the moderators decide is a catastrophe. 
You a cat, I bet now. Probably. Orange cat looks stoned. He's Garfield. Dating games where you don't understand any of the dateable characters. It seems like a classic waiting to happen. <laughs> Are you okay? What is it? I need to do it through like, the right of my mouth every time I speak with them. Uh, what, what was this? this uh, kind of posh sounding? Looks like it's got a very sort of diamond collar, it seems. So, Oh no, it's polka dot actually, isn't it? It's not diamonds, but it kind of looks like it. Don't be ridiculous, Kibbles. It's a human. Oh yeah. Yuck. I can smell it now. It smells like human. No, oh, they're gonna be sounding pretty much exactly the same, aren't they? Oh, do be quiet. Are they alive? Of course it's alive. It's breathing, you imbecile. Why is it... Why is it moving? Why don't you come and give them more space? Move back a bit. Yes, stand, uh, stand back. Move out of my way. Let me have a proper look. I begin to come to. The Sphinx cat is standing over me as I open my eyes. We stare at each other for a moment while I try to take in what's happening. Translate into it into cat form. So that is roughly meow, meow, meow. Is this one defective? Ugh, I feel sick. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Sorry, I may have said that a little bit more aggressively as it, than it was supposed to be. <laughs> and this is the first time we should click the heart. You know, as we're vomiting everywhere. The cats watch me intensely. There we go. Am I going insane? Ouch! My head! What is it chattering about? One of them needs a deep, deeper voice, I think, because I guess this is all the characters in the game. I mean, it's the one that you see in the menu at the beginning, isn't it? Pink cat! Yes, it is pink. A sexual meow. Mm. Meow. <laughs> right, um... I don't know. Which one, which one do you think should have a deeper voice? Because they all look so... cute. You need to make one of them a bit more demonic, I think. A witch. I don't remember how Garfield sounds, really. Sounds very bored, doesn't he, for the most part. Very unenthusiastic. And that should just about do it. The orange one. Which one was it that was supposed to be more aggressive? Which you described as aggressive? Pick the ginger. No, that's Garfield. It's Garfield. Oh, you mean the one on the left, though? Orange cat needs to have a deep voice. Remember which one it, do you remember guys which one it said was uh, she thought was gonna attack which one it was uh, was gonna pounce us was it this guy I don't know it might have been this one they're scared and confused let me talk to them hmm. you alright oh it was the middle one okay you I remember you two my catalogue oh but I gave it back to you it's, it's back in your pocket now. I try to reach into my pocket, and I realize my hands are scratched to shreds. Ow, 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 ow! What's wrong with my hands? I try to stand. It has no effect. Ow! 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 My feet! What happened to me? Yeah, um... I guess that's from all the climbing. I told you I wasn't ready for that. What's that? Ready for what? It's anatomical structure. It's far too delicate. I, d I tried to slow it down. Uh, was, uh, we need to find which one is the evil one. There must be an evil one, surely. I mean, uh, this one's clearly very bitchy, but, you know. I say that counts as a catastrophe. I say everything counts as a catastrophe. Yeah, floof. You try restraining a human who's who's that determined. What? It was like a Margot. Its anatomical structure didn't seem that delicate to me. It was like a what? Doing what? 
You made your own way uh, back to the beach. Okay, but that doesn't explain... Show my bleeding hands. Do I need to cut my hands on the stream so that it actually matches? No, I'm not gonna do that. Ah! You crawled, Kara. Kara? Who's Kara? Is it my name? It's a term of endearment. It's an Irish thing. Is it? Um, Lou Magnus, are you there? It's inappropriate. Wait, I, I, I crawled? You sure did. Like, a cat. Yep. All the way from the mountains. Like a bleeding mountain lion. Impressive. Wait, the, oh, I see. But why? Because you got the sickness. Shh. Ah, maybe you should sit down, human. We need to have a talk. Possibly a long talk. Talk? Yes, th that's right. Since when can cats talk? Down with the sickness. Oh no. Gotta, oh God, how does that sound go? A, oh, I can't, I can't really do it anymore. Oh, for goodness sake. Since the dawn of time. How else do you think we communicate? Ah, stop splitting whiskers, Major. <laughs> you know full well what the human is saying. I think the revelation here, Kara, is that uh, you, you understand us. Yes, that too. Will someone please explain what the hell is going on here? Well, we don't fully understand everything ourselves. At least, not all the details of how this works. are a cat, right? I think being stood in a forest, surrounded by a bunch of talking cats, is about as much detail as somebody, as anybody would want. I agree. And more to the point, we were rather hoping you would be able to help us. You are a scientist, after all. What we do know is that the clock has started ticking for you. What do you mean? Well, there's no easy way to say this to you, Kara. You'll be catified. Oh! Maybe there were humans before. Um, what? Whether you help or not, uh, you don't have a lot of time before. <coughs> if I may. It would seem that we are basing uh, on our experience to date that when a human manages to find themselves in what I believe you call the danger zone, they are vulnerable in ways that they previously were not. That is to say, you fox. You're not helping. Don't make me. Whoa, mountain lion. There's no. There'll be no violence of any kind. Maybe. Forgive me for being a bit panicked here. Music does sound a bit mystery dungeon -y, doesn't it? But yeah, I, I get the themes as well. God, I love that game so much. The, vun sorry. the vulnerability to which Snooty Boosie was referring to simply part if you are bitten or scratched by an elder cat within the danger zone. You will become a, a process... Oh, you will begin a process of change that ultimately will result in a full feline transition. So basically, you're telling me I'm a wicked. I look down, and in amongst the scratches on my right hand, uh, sorry, yeah, in amongst, yeah, that's right, are two distinct puncture marks. The reality of my situation descends on me like a cold mist. Basically. Yes. My head is spinning. This is too much for me to take in. Take a breath. <laughs> Take a breath now, Kara. You're not looking so good. What? Have I started to change? <laughs> I feel my head for ears. Fur. Everything seems to be normal. No. I just meant you're looking a bit shaky. Understandably so. I take a few deep breaths. Steady, br steady breaths. Oh, I take a few... 
mature like it. I take a few deep, steady breaths and calm myself enough to say, hmm. Okay, so... Why? How? What? Give me some data. What have you got so far? Luke, why don't say anything we can? But the truth is, we have more questions than any uh, than answers ourselves. So, you said you need my help. What exactly would that entail? Well, finding our friends was, uh, would be a start. Cats on this island, uh, they're going missing. We don't know what's happening to them, but the body count is rising and we've hit a wall. Really, how many times do I have to tell you? The Mueller's are to blame. Mueller's, John? Now, Fluffy, Fluff, Fluffy Boss, there is no need for name calling. Speaking of name calling, I'll remind you to call me Major, Madam. Luke, they, they can't help they are. It's the lack of breeding, you know. Overbreeding, if you ask me. Again, mules? They're the elder cats of uh, the island originals. They can't speak the way we can, hence the derogatory term mules. Guys, sorry, uh, uh, this is just getting too offensive for me. And how are they to blame exactly? Well, if we knew that, there, uh, there would have been no need uh, for this to, uh, this elaborate kidnapping. With these expressions on the left, it's hardly proving to be a roaring success, after all. Luke, Carr. <laughs> what we really know is that uh, we are no longer safe on this island. The elders who live within the danger zone are hostile towards us. Not sure why. It's just always been that way, and now because the cats, uh, because cats are being taken, nowhere else is safe either. No dates, no. We're not dating anyone. It seems in this game either. So disappointing. You expect the occasional mishap. We uh, we live in an undomesticated world here, after all. But lately, cats have been disappearing almost every day. Even the last human we catified went missing. I'm sorry, what? Let's not open old wounds, quip. <laughs> wounds, kibbles. Yes, onwards and upwards. Well, first things first, this werecat thing. Catification! Transition. Whatever! How does it work? Time passes, and then you transform into a cat. Nyeh. It's a gradual process. It's different for everyone, but you won't just turn overnight. The clock is ticking, however. The first side effect of the transition is being able to understand us. Well, some of us. Not the elders, of obviously. Not all the domestics, either. Then you have the whole heightened senses thing, the increased agility, the crazy body hair stuff. I already have that going on. Let's not worry the human with all the details just yet. I assume there's an antidote? I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed in that assumption. Hang on, you said there was someone else who you'd put in this position? Well, let's hope you're a better bad than they were. Unfortunately, they weren't able to discover an antidote or get our friends back. I know where their notes are, though. Really? Trade. Eh? You help us and I'll give, uh, give you their progress reports. <laughs> so what do you say, Kara? We help us? So, we have the option to help the kitties or do not help the kitties. <laughs> Well, I'm disappointed I'm not getting my cat date, so we're not going to help them. We're not going to help them. I wanted to date cats. This is this is solving a major problem. Help the hams, Pond. They want belly rubs. 
Do they really though? No, I don't want to help them. I think I'm done with this. Help you? After what you've... The bloody hell is the soundtrack. After what you did to me? How could I ever trust you? You steal from me? Put me in mortal danger? Lie to get what you want? What would you do in my situation? Ouch. This ludicrous story about werecats is enough to make me think I must be going insane. So no, it's up to you to sort out whatever is going on here. Oh, <laughs> not on my hands looking after myself. Lame. What did I tell you? I knew the human lacked the intellect and stamina to be part of the research. Rude self-opinionated moggy. I would sooner turn into a cat than help you. There is a shocked silence. Slowly, the small calico cat pads up to me. Oh my god, I've made it sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, human. If there was some way I could help you, I would. Trixie begins to sob quietly before turning away. Oh, it's kind of guilt tripping me now, isn't it? My eyesight begins to blur, but I can just about make out the cat retreating into the thick growth of the forest. Goodbye, cats. Despite becoming more and more tired and foggy, I somehow make my way back to the research area. And that's it. Really? I did plenty of work over the next few days on Cat Island, but I can't remember much of it. Time seems to have slipped by without me even no uh, my even noticing, sorry. I'm sure I did lots of good and interesting work here on the island, but I just can't recall any of it. Only vague memories. At the end of the day, I'm not really that bothered. It all feels like a, uh, feels a bit like a distant dream to me now. I stretch out on this in the sand, enjoying the midday sun on my fur, lazily <laughs> licking my paws clean of the scraps left over from my morning feed. Meow. It's over, guys. We became a pet. We, we, we became a cat, and oh, we remain single as well. Oh dear. We we also completed 1.4 percent of the game. I think that is our actual point there. We didn't get any research done, any recon, but apparently we did do some research, so we clearly didn't get much done in the end. Um, cat's Romance, we got 0 out of 6. 0% uh, of the antidotes as well. Uh, the antidote, sorry. Complete. Got 1 out of 18 endings, though, and 1 secret, apparently, we found as well. I don't know what um, that was. And we got Ending Achieved, Anti-Hero. And that's the game, yeah, that's it. I, I guess we can continue and go back into it. Or is it just going to kick us out to the main menu? Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh no, Kevin's gone. What happened to Kevin? Kevin's dead! Kevin's dead, guys! Shit! Kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think that deserves a double catastrophe right there. <laughs> oh, you've added one already. Yeah, I, I think that deserves another one. Kevin has flat out been murdered. No, no, Kevin became a cat. God damn it, Kevin. Alright, so let's see what random name we've got next. Tim. Um, I think she looks like a bit of a Tim. Yeah. So we're Tim now. You only get six tries. It does seem that way. Yeah, chapter two. Wait, what? Okay, we're actually moving on to chapter two. Eh? I'm finally here. This is the same dialogue, though, isn't it? So is it... Next two months. When I... Yes, that's exactly the same. No thanks. Put it out of my mind. This might be slightly different. No, it isn't. I have a sudden... Pang... No, no. I have a sudden pang of nerves. That it's all a dream. I rummage through my bag until... Proof... No. No, this is... It seems like the wording's slightly different. I could be wrong. What's going on with this? It's a Lonnie's dying and dating them. Hello, Hornstein. Welcome back. Yep, that's the same. And there's his name at the bottom, the genius behind the whole operation. Yep, it's Professor Pauper, we know. Ferryman comes, yep, steering the... It's Bob again. Bob seems... What? Slightly more pissed off than before, though. No, it's still the same. Ignore it. Yep, okay, never mind. 
We spoke to the other guy beforehand, though, his son, didn't we? That, that hasn't happened this time. So let's look for any differences. ID card, oh, of course. I reach into my back pocket. Yep, we got that. It's not exactly the same, actually. No, this is a different date as well. Look at this. It, oh, um, third month? Oh, it's actually in English. Oh, it's an English format. I like this. Yeah, it's the uh, third month, so we're now up to March. March the 1st. This is suspicious. So, Kevin, you failed. Just grunting over his shoulder again, this way, yep. Pull him down, yep. It's beautiful, we know. Uh, minutes tracking. Steps to the watch down, syndicate an extra go inside. We haven't seen the lady, we've just gone straight to the professor. I think this is like a fast track to the, uh, delighted to have you on board. Thank you, sir, it's an honor to meet you. Let's drink something different this time, shall we? Um, yeah, I, I don't think Tim is a, Tim is definitely non-alcoholic. So, um, what, what would Tim rather have? Do you think Tim would rather be a water kind of guy or a tea kind of guy? No, no more whiskey. No more whiskey. Tim is clearly not an alcoholic, okay? Or does Tim just want to dehydrate? I'm not sure I get different endings here. And this is clearly a, a, a huge decision here. T. What, do you think Tim's British? I don't know. I don't, I don't know about Tim being British, to be honest. Tim has a very British name, to some degree. Even though it probably isn't at all. Okay, beer. There is no beer. Can we, can we drink Wellington? No. What about whatever this is? Alright, fine, T. I'd love a cup of tea, if there's any on, uh, a, a pot on the go. Ah, I can tell you're new. The tea tastes like cat piddle. Oh god, what have you done, Serge? You really don't want to drink it. He pours me a cup of coffee from his canteen instead. Um, can canteen? Yeah. Uh, it's a good job I like coffee. Do I? Tim likes coffee, okay. I don't expect you to begin uh, work until tomorrow, so I'll give you your kicks and uh, yep, okay. Thank you, sir. That sounds great. Okay, so blah blah blah. Uh, same thing here. Catalog. Yep, we know. Catalog. We know what it is. Don't you worry. Uh, memories from Kevin have transferred over to us miraculously. Tim remembers what Kevin remembers vaguely. So, so yep. Ah. I hope I do find Kevin. It'll be quite amusing, to be honest. I need to save Kevin, guys. Kevin was... Kevin didn't do a very good job. Yep. Um, got that gold mine of information. It's going to get me up to speed. Oh, shit, sorry. That was uh, on about Kevin's journal, was it? However, it seems something else was happening on the island. Something that was troubling them. I get the feeling there's far more going on here than the professor would like me to know. Sorry, I skipped that because I thought it was the same dialogue as before. In spite of my increasing tiredness, I continue to read, the, and the journal gets weirder and weirder to the point where I'm not sure whether I'm uh, still reading or if I've dozed off and I'm now dreaming of talking cats and kidnapping. Eventually, I lose the battle and drift off into a deep sleep. <laughs> Is Tim going to be nicer and actually help the cats, though? I wonder. I wake up uh, with a start... Wake up with a stop, sorry? And it it takes me a moment to get my brain into gear. I can hear a scratching sound and rustling of paper coming from the tent flap. It's cat with something in its mouth. Suddenly I'm wide awake. No! It has the journal! Wait! But it's disappeared into the night. Oh no. Before I know it, I'm out in the cold night chasing it, running with all my might. I must get that boot back. It has everything I need to know in it. Barefoot, dressed only in a t-shirt and shorts, running at full speed into the forest in the dark of the night. This is familiar. I know. I read this in the journal. Something similar happened to a previous insistence. And here I am, falling into the same trap. God damn it, Tim. I must be crazy. I slow to a stop. I think I'm going to be sick. I realise, of course. I'm close to a danger zone. Everything goes black, and I fall to the ground. Ugh. Oh, 
I opened my eyes, a calico cat, the one that I scanned yesterday, is standing in front of me. Oh, I don't remember that. She drops the journal from her mouth. No, you're so adorable. I pass out. Oh, I love these loading screens. Up oh, here they are again. Wait, there's a slot to the left here for something else to show up. Hello, can you hear me? Are you okay? Here we go again. Move back a little. Let them breathe. Has it been better? It's okay, it's the same. Yep. It's definitely been looking at us. Uh, a bunch of marks, yep. Real a written, yep, about kidnapping, catnapping. <laughs> We're sorry. It was the only way. You, you stole the journal. It's giving you your bag, that's the same, but... Why did you take it? So though you're out here, sucker. That's different. <laughs> There's no need for rudeness, kibbles. My head has begun to clear and realize if I can talk to this cat, not only is it all true, but it's already too late. I have the sickness. We're all down with the sickness, guys. That might be for Kevin. <laughs> yeah, same for poor Kevin. Uh, we need to have a talk, you. No, we don't. I know what's going on here. I read all about it from your last victim. Now, Kara, that's not very nice. We prefer to think of you as our champion and friend. Murphy, you single... Uh, Silver-tongued Irish charmer. My reputation goes before me. I was thinking about trying to do a rhyme shack some, but, you know, I would not dare. Oh. <laughs> I know who you all are from the journal. So let's cut to the chase here. We did that, dummy. No I mean. What happens now? That rather depends on you, human. So what do you say? <laughs> Can you help us or not? I guess I probably need to. See, time not, uh... See, what? See time not going to be any help. See time... Tim. Tim, I guess that was meant to be Tim. It takes me back to Resident Evil Remake. So I'm misspelling. Um, time to not help six times yet. <laughs> Madness is the gift that has been given to me. What's that a reference to? Madness is the gift that has been given to me. Oh god, it's down with the sickness, isn't it? Madness is the gift that has been given to me. Uh, I don't know how that song goes. I can't remember, but yeah. There is the down with the sickness, yeah. Motherfucker, get up, get down with the sickness. I can't, I can't remember where it goes, I really can't. The Ricks have left me. I don't like that song, if I'm being honest. It's pretty shit, and I really... Like, it's just one of those earworms, isn't it? It's not that good. To be honest, I've never liked The Sickness that much. Uh, the Sickness? Um, Disturbed. I've never liked Disturbed that much. Their songs very much end up sounding the same after a while, like, from album to album. Yeah. Anyway, let's actually help them this time. Tim is gonna be... <laughs> now I'm just thinking of Resident Evil Remake. What I'm referring to here for you guys who are new is, um, back when I did Resident Evil Remake, maybe about four years ago now. Um... Like, towards the end of it. Towards the end of it, um... I was running out of time and someone misspelled it as Tim, I think? And, like, we were just going on about Tim for ages. Referring to, we're not gonna have Tim, we're, we don't have Tim. Uh, you know, like... Yeah, it's him, the Chosen One. Alright. Tom, the Chosen One. Tim, Tom. No, it needs to be Thomas. Anyway, let's help them, shall we? I suppose my fate is already sealed. I may as well do my best to help you uh, sort this mess out. Spoken like a true champion. Well, let's hope this one better than the last one. I doubt that will be too taxing. Unfortunately, they didn't get very far with discovering an antidote or, or what happened to our friend. Oh dear. Oh wow. I just realized each of the different chapters is going to be each of the different characters, isn't it? So basically, like, this is an extended task and I've already screwed myself out of um, actually making any progress whatsoever <laughs> with the first character. I do like Disturbed Down with the Sickness is probably a good example of a song uh, that's a good debut for their sound, but not that high of a point in their discography. Um, 
I feel like after a point they every song started sounding the bloody same, every album, like you can't really differentiate the sounds. They're not they don't try to do something different with every album. It ends up just being the same, the same, the same. Uh, you missed a lot and some general failure, yeah. Kevin Vanish, he did, yeah. Well look at there's a poem in Murphy. Let's give him a big hug. My catalog starts beating me. Oh my alarm! I have to get to work. Go! And thanks from all of us. No. Evolution wants a word. This is going to be cata uh, Catastrophe 3, perhaps. Oh, something doesn't sound good. I make it back to the lab fairly quickly. Considering how little sleep I've had, I wonder if that's one of the effects of the feline transition. I imagine my agility levels will change. I'm strangely good. Stats gone up. No. Disappointing. Um, excuse me, how are we going? Oh, goes on its own. I'm strangely excited about getting to work on the antidotes. It's sort of a challenge that I love. It's, uh, or is it that sort of challenge? I don't know. I'm just about to enter the lab to begin my legitimate work when the catalogue uh, beeps and a message without any contact information. didn't get a chance to read that. Was I supposed to get a chance to read that in click or anything, I think? Ominous. I don't have time to work this puzzle out right now. I'm already going to be late for work if I don't get a move on. Um, I feel like I was supposed to read that. What happened? Why did that just go by all of a sudden? The professor is already working when I arrive, but miraculously, I'm not late, so there's no fuss. I get through the day as efficiently as possible and head back to my tent as soon as uh, my work is done. Some things are best kept to ourselves, is that what it says? Thank you. I want to get to grips with finding out uh, all I can as soon as possible. Yeah, we already got one ending and it was bad. Oh, what should I do today? What should I do today? Um, what options do I have? I don't need to rest because I have full hearts. I love these posts in the background. I kind of want them in my room. Can I get some print ups? We can item our romance, research, recon. Can we do something with the antidote? No. Guys, what are we doing? I mean, we want to date cats, don't we? So maybe the romance, but this costs a heart. So like, are we looking to date cats? Is, is Tim the romantic kind, or is Tim the research kind, or is Tim the recon type? I think Kevin would have been the recon type, but you know, that's a bit late now, isn't it? By the way, do you have... I mean, well, yes, I do have the first and the second. Yes, I do have Discord. You can type exclamation point Discord into the chat. Uh, that will get you to what you want, uh, but otherwise, also the moderator will help you out as well once you get onto Discord. Um, also, you can just scroll down, there is a link down below the stream. If you're watching in post as well on YouTube, there's always, if you want to join Discord, there's always a link in the description of the video, so feel free to check through that. There you go, Snake has got it. My gay ass said dick instead of Discord. Yes, it most certainly did, but it's okay to be gay. We accept gay people here. Um, just about. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, what type is Tim? What type is Tim? Hello there, Wind! Please don't ask for my boyfriend's dick. You're not supposed to just out me like that, that's rude. <laughs> Are you back now, Wind? I got any texts off you, you must have been... Must have gone fast. What the hell? It's only like it's close to nine o'clock. How are you back so soon? I'm going to message you home. Bloody hell, that was fast. All in romance. Are you sure this is a good idea? We kind of have Tim focus on romance because I think Tim is kind of a maybe a uh, research type. I don't know. I know nothing about Tim. It would seem. Welcome back home, Wind. Just welcome back. Hope your drive was okay. About two hours home. Yeah. You want a day, so yeah, that's true. Okay, romance it is. I need a break soon. Kind of downed a monster energy drink really quickly. Oh! Oh, we can't date everyone. We 
can only date like uh, three of them at the moment. And what the hell is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. So we have the option of Floofy Butt, Snoozy Booty, and McMurphy. Oh my god. The happy faces they get. Anyway, I'm gonna take a short break. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> yeah, let's date Kevin. Let's date our previous self. I won't be a moment. Maybe it's the mystery dating option. It's the final boss. Maybe it's the devil cat. Maybe we can date the devil cat from the beginning. So it went okay, wet, but uh, the wind, wind, that, oh, it wasn't, uh, the, no, the, what, that rough, oh, the wind wasn't that rough, okay, I got it, so it was okay overall, I say date the snooty one, just hope the wind don't be jealous, I'm allowing this on the condition I uh, can date one of the bloodborne werewolves, <laughs> what, I think that would end poorly. Well, he is technically evolving into a werecat, so does that count? Yeah. I, I just realized my glasses are on wonky. Have they been on wonky the entire stream? I don't know why my ear work. Working, I mean hurting. <clears throat> it could well have been. So, you reckon Tim is a bit of uh, one for th the snooty booty? <laughs> if you're gonna turn into a cat soon, might as well start dating a cat, yeah. So you can be together as uh, cats. Snooty. Alright, let's go with that one. my chair in. I'm splayed out like a starfish on the beach, in my bathing clothes. It's a sweltering hot day, and I find it hard to concentrate on my work. So here I am, 
I let the cool sea wash over my feet and legs as I lay back on the sand. I hear a long, loud sigh coming from somewhere nearby, and I sit up to see where it came from. Snooty Booty, in response under the shade of the palm tree, is looking about her with a concerned expression, one that I've never seen, no, never really seen a cat make before. I go over to her to see if I can help with something. Are you okay, Snooty Booty? She lets out another long, wistful sigh. <sighs> to be quite frank with you, human, no. I am not okay. I cannot expose this delicate skin of mine to the sun, but there is something I need to retrieve from further down the beach. It is quite the predicament. Oh, right, want me to fetch it for you? Oh, would you be so kind? Would you really be so kind, human? I would be very grateful. Sure, no problem. We can't have you putting that delicate skin of yours at risk, can we? Snooty Booty looks grave. Indeed not. Skin must come above all else, don't you know? One must never expose one's skin to the elements, human. It really is quite aging. Long boy. Have we established what gender they are, actually? So I don't think it's actually... Has it come up with a he or a she or anything like that? One must also never get stressed if one wishes to retain one's useful aura, which is rather difficult on this frightful island. Oh, I know, believe me. How do you know? Are you stressed? Oh no, that would upset me terribly. Really? That's sweet of you. Of course, you really are a precious thing. I do so hope you are. You are finding your time here pleasant. Don't worry about me, Snoozy Booty. I'm fine. Now, what was it you'd like me to get for you? Well, before I tell you, I must ask you don't inform the others of the whereabouts of this particular item. It's very dear to me, you see. <laughs> One of very few luxuries I have all to myself. Of course, that's no problem. I can be discreet when I need to be. I do so. I do hope so, human. You see, along the beach, just south of here, there is a tree which bears the ripest of coconuts all year round. It is quite splendid. The coconuts are always so sweet and creamy. It's whiskey. I hope so. Snooty Booty looks as if she's lost in a wonderful dream. Sounds lovely. It is. I like to drink coconut water as often as I can. Is this my mum? <laughs> as it is so good for the skin and waistline, but the less civilized denizens <laughs> the island keep knocking the coconuts down before they're fully matured. Fortunately, no one else seems to have discovered this particular tree yet. Well, okay, Snoozy Booty. I'll try to find some coconuts for you. I'll be back soon. You have my thanks, human. Ugh. I've been walking for a lot longer than Snoozy Booty le led me to believe. I'm not sure if this is even the right tree. They all look the same to me. Although this one does seem to have more coconuts than the others. I also find it funny that the cat is female and has a male voice. I mean, I can't do a female voice. I can try. But you know, my voice doesn't really go very high pitch. It can go deeper, but it can't go more higher pitch. It can go higher pitch, but it's really fucking hard for me to do. Like, it, it requires me turning off a certain part of my throat, and it just ends up being really comical most of the time. And I really need to refine it, because my voice has got so deep over the years, it's ridiculous. I decided to take my chance and bundle up as many as I can uh, carry in my arms and haul uh, them back to her ladyship. I swear it got deeper again after I had surgery. By the time I get back to Snoozy Booty, I'm faint from the exertion, uh, not to mention walking so far in the sun. I fall to my knees, panting in front of her. Oh, wow, this is getting hot this day. I mean, literally. Here you go, boots. 
She eyes the pile with a distinct air of disapproval. Oh no, we fucked it up, guys. We've ruined the date. I only need one coconut human. These are far too many. Well, I do apologize, madam. Okay, there we go. That was pretty much confirmation. Tell me you didn't plunder the tree. No, there's plenty on the ground already, so... Oh, well, that's a small mercy. At least you didn't hack them down. Hack them down with what? Well, your hands are rather large and leathery. Snooty booty. I do not use my hands for deforestation. Well, I'm sure you did your very best. Although, I really don't know what I'm going to do with so many coconuts. Sing a song about them. You're welcome, I'm sure. I look at the pile of coconuts, and it strikes me properly for the first time how strange it is uh, that there are no creatures on the island to plunder them. What do you think it is, Snoops, that keeps the wildlife away from the island? Now I see why she's Snoopy here. Do you mean the magnetic barrier? Magnetic barrier? Oh, do keep up, human. I thought you were meant to be a scientist. I realise she must be referring to the force field that surrounds the island. The death field. Is this lost? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Now be a dear and crack one open for me. With my enormous hands. Tim looks like she's about Yoko's size, so she's probably very small. <laughs> you Far Cry. Yes, this is Far Cry 6. Well, you could be... You could try, I suppose. I push down at the irritation uh, that is slowly rising in me and uh, smile politely. This is going great this day. Okay, I'm in the Discord just waiting for approval. Mac, Khaled, Wind. Well, Wind wasn't here before, but you know. I'll... Guys, get on it. I don't want to... I mean, I could get over there myself. Yeah, just make sure you've read the uh, important sections. I mean, read them in your own time. You don't need to read them right away. Uh, what sort of stuff? Mac is currently saying something. It's the Floofsters. It's the Floofster. Sorry, not the Floofster. Sort it out myself. Ban user. There we go. Let's see. I'm doing this all on stream. I'm going to destroy all my moderators. I will be sorting out more soon, actually. So a few guys who are moderators here will be able to help soon. There we go. Okay, there you go, you're in. I mean, Lost had a plot, right, uh, plot point, right? The big white things that made people die, I think. I don't have a clue. I've never been interested in it. On second thoughts, I'll be back with a screwdriver. A what? Snooty Booty looks horrified. It's a sharp metal tool that bores into things. I went to watch the dishes just now. Shame on you. Those dishes could have waited. I'm just kidding. What on earth do you need one of those for? So that I can make a hole to get the water out of the coconut. How else would you uh, propose I do it? Well, look around you, dear. Look at nature's bounties. What about that? Snooty gestures with a limp paw at a shard of rock nearby. Snoots, how do you usually get the water out of the coconut when there isn't a human around? Well, the exuberant kibble simply loves to break things. Have you not noticed? It's one of the, the, the few reasons I tolerate him, don't you know? Far better than one of your scroll dri drivers. Don't you think? Eh? Yeah. I reach over and pick up the rock. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that. It does look like it could actually do the job. Okay, let's give it a try. Here it goes. Holding the coconut in a palm tree, I gently tap the shell a few times with the stone before finally whacking it. It cracks open surprisingly easily. 
with the water, uh, and the water drains into the leaf. There now, see how nature provides human. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? I'm getting messages now. What? Sorry, I'm, I got a message from. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Milani. Um, big shout out to Milani on Discord who just messaged me asking if I want to trade naked pictures with her for a, a Discord Nitro. I'm not even making this shit up. That's what I've just got. Um, I thought it was something to do with what... Yeah. This is getting a bit desperate. They already know when they're in the fucking stream. I just explained it. There we go. It's official now. Block. No, no, I'm gonna... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get on with this. Let's say I misunderstood it. Wait. Oh. You want nudes from me and you'll give me Discord Nitro exclamation mark question mark. There we go. Didn't think you would read my message out straight, literally so rude. I'm gonna guess this is someone actually who's made a fake account and is like using someone else's nude pictures to um, encourage young boys to send them Discord Nitro. That's fucking gross. That's really gross. Like, you know, I, I think that's probably what, what is happening here. I could see it working as well. I really could see it working. Young boys, yeah. What, 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 what do you mean? And they picture... Wow. Wow. <sighs> Report them for disc. Yeah, I probably should, shouldn't I? Instead of joking about this, really, but. Like, how do you even do that in the first place? Lock? Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this on stream. It's a point of comedy, guys. It's a point of comedy. Lock, can I. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 I don't want to do that. Hang on, I think they can't actually contact me anymore because I think the server that we were mutual in... No, they're still there. Okay, uh, maybe I should tell the server as well. That's a good idea. Uh, I agree. Click the dot 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 then report. It doesn't look like you can do it on the mobile version. I think you can only do it on the desktop version, it seems. I can go view the profile, click the dot 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 there, and it just says block. It doesn't actually come up with any ability to report on phone. So I might have to wait till later. I will do that, though. Let me check. You do that. Mm, there, no. Oh, I read this somewhere. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted. Yep. Again, you're welcome. Quite. <laughs> Snooty Booty stretches her neck and then upper body towards the leaf. She sticks her tongue out as far as it can go before raising her big eyes to me. I can't quite seem to. I suddenly realize what she's getting at. Let me help, or maybe you should get help. Should we sass Snooty Booty, or should we help Snooty Booty? I feel like maybe if we want to remain, her to remain interested in us, we should probably help her, but it's up to you guys, I don't mind. Sass. You guys are saying sass, really? No. I don't think we're gonna get. I don't think we're gonna get uh, any form of cat relationship on the go if we do that. Sass it. All right, go on then. Let's do it. No way. This is too much. This little princess is far too spoiled. I think it's high time she learned to do things for herself. Is there something the matter, Snoots? Well, you placed my patient <laughs> slightly out of my reach. Oh dear, and you're so thirsty. Yes, that is clearly... <laughs> that clearly is the predicament. So what are you going to do about it then? I beg your pardon? Well, it seems you are here and your drink is all the way over there. Ever are you going to quench your thirst? 
Why are you speaking in riddles? This is like my cat. Not really, for uh, more like parables. For instance, if the mountain won't come to Muhammad, maybe Muhammad should get off her uh, little pink booty and go to the mountain herself. <laughs> Snooty Booty looks at me amused. Is misreading a sentence this game's a version of what dying in gr uh, to gravity is in dogs? <laughs> yes! I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Who is Muhammad? In this situation, you are Muhammad. Snooty Booty gives me an, an exasperated look. I have no time for your nonsense. I'm going to die of dehydration at this rate, human. She scoots over awkwardly on her stomach until she gets within reach of the palm leaf and delicately laps at it. This looks delicious. Oh, sorry, that looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Snooty agrees without taking a break. I'm buying this. This is definitely a cat. You know, searching for those token, uh, those coconuts <laughs> was thirsty work. I'm sure it was. She's still laughing at the water. <coughs> oh, my throat's a bit scratchy, especially on the heat. Snooty Booty finally comes up for air. And quite, that's the beauty of the coconut. You see, <laughs> so hydrating the most and most palatable too. You really ought to try it sometime. I look down at the now dry palm leaf. Yes, that's a good idea, Boots. At the very best thing, uh, sorry, and the very best thing after drinking coconut water is to curl up and have a nap. You know, beauty sleep is most important. Oh, is that so? Indeed, human. I suppose... Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. My finger went a bit twitchy there. I missed the rest of it. Ah, well. Snooty Booty yawns and closes her eyes. It's a shame you can't actually, like, uh, check what dialogue went by in this game. I know you can on quite a number of these visual novels, you know. She yawns and closes her eyes. I suppose I do. Sweet dreams, princess. She snores softly in reply. So we died of dehydration, guys. That's it. That's how this date ended up. So! Now the, the antidote is 1.4% complete. That's the same as our story. Um, was before, wasn't it? We have the option to rest, we have romance, research, or recon. Guys, what, what's Tim gonna do next? <clears throat> Are going to date another cat, or are we going to do some research or recon? Or are we, are we very tired after dehydrating and dying? More romance. Romance. Research. Hmm. should go with more romance, to be honest. It's a cat dating sim. Well, it's not entirely sh clear about it. It's <laughs> yes. Enslaved romance, yes. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I, I, maybe we should try do a bit of research. Why is there only like a, a maximum amount we can do, but then will that increase the amount of the antidote? Hello there, Polar Place. Welcome back. Let's do some research, shall we? We can always uh, do some romance the next day. <laughs> My throat. What the hell's this? Can we go back? Oh, okay. We can look into what we can do here. So we had the option of research 4, 5, 12, or 16. We don't have any of the others unlocked yet. Can we go into recon as well? You know, I probably aren't best trying clicking it just in case, um, you know, like it doesn't take us into another menu. It just goes straight into it. So, guys, number 4, 5, 12, 16. Whoever says it first, go for it. What are we doing? 
I'm drawn to 12, 16, 5, 16, 12, 16 it is. Oh, hang on, we can actually read a description on them as well. Ah, grooming cats. I never thought... <laughs> I love this. Why would a cat grow its hair that long? Not, 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 like, by choice. I don't mean, like, why would a cat grow its hair this long? I mean, like, how would a cat grow its hair this long? I never thought I could add feline hairstylists to my CV, but it looks like today is my lucky day. Uh, cat collection, time to round up some round, rowdy kitties. Uh, cataloging samples, a slow day today. I've only got to organize a few samples from previous field trips. I do appreciate, by the way, the font that they use for this, because I find it very easy to read in comparison to some of the other games I've played in the past. Field work. Today I'm off on a field trip of sorts with uh, the professor. Can't wait to see what he's planning to show me. So we're cataloging... Um, I kind of want to do four now, guys. Do you agree? We want to groom some cats. <laughs> Change my mind. Okay, let's go with that, shall we? I put on my latex gloves, but now my fiance, who is horribly allergic to. It's like the opposite of the sad one. I put on my latex gloves and gather my tools. Brush, scissors, swabs, kitty wipes. Can't help but think I've forgotten something. Ah, of course, treats! <laughs> What's going on with the soundtrack? I leave the tent and head for the lab, stopping to stroke a few of the island's residents on the way. Oh no. Oh no, you're right. You're absolutely right. I am turning into a cat. Um, how did you, how did, do you, what kind of foresight do you have at the moment, uh, Snakey? Do you keep on guessing what's going to happen? <coughs> I call out to the lazing subjects as I enter the lab. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm not turning into a cat after all. Looky, looky! What have I got? I shake the bag of treats, and a small lamp erupts with hang uh, hungry meows, not angry meows. If you want these, you'll have to behave, okay? I open the first crate. Um, home of the grouchy old Mr. Bumble. And I gently lift him onto the counter to be groomed. I want to date Mr. Bumble, okay? Morning, Grumpy. Let me check your ears. No debris. No, sorry, Debra. No Debra. <laughs> Jenny, you there? <laughs> Lovely. I have a feeling you may be discharged in the next day or two. What's that snow coming? I think snow left. It's been a rainy day. Oh, right. You mean where you are at the moment? I hope everything goes alright if it does snow. Now I die. What, why are you dying? Oh, because of the latex. Got you. Yeah, wind's highly allergic to latex, so I have to kind of, I'm rubber. Yeah, have to be careful. <laughs> now you're a cat, seems legit, it happens. When the first strum of the song played, I thought <laughs> I was about to play along with a shitty JoJo reference. I get what you mean. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, it's restarting. I thought it just turned off. He was brought in with a mild infection, slight temperature, weepy eyes, but he seems to have re uh, recovered remarkably well. In fact, I'm going to recommend to Professor Pauper that uh, we release him by the end of the week. I give Mr. Bumble a cheeky cuddle before he begin to brush his massive fur. Wow, where does this all come from? That's enough fur here to make another cat. Oh, there's enough. Mr. Bumble is beginning to get uh, agitated and lets out a displeased rumble. Ugh, getting my tongue in a twist now. I know, I know, it's very annoying. Just got to trim you uh, up a bit and then you can get back to sleep. Resignedly lets me cut some of the hair around his bum and the back of his hind legs. I see. Aren't you a good boy? Here we go. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Are we eating the cat now? I pour some. Oh right, we're feeding it. Right, okay. Yeah. I wear. Uh, uh, I pour some of the little fish-shaped treats into the counter or onto the counter, and the ragamuffin practically inhales them. This is your cat. Wind, Mitch. He does inhale food. It's terrifying. Then he throws it up everywhere afterwards. Um, if someone handles food, it can cause me to have an allergic reaction. Yeah. So you 
can't eat uh, my workplace then because uh, they use latex gloves. Hmm. Now, let's get you back into your cozy craze. God, I can't talk now. I took it. I, I took him away and opened the next one. Your turn, socks. Just, cu uh, just cut and collar, yeah. Well, let's dye the cat. That's um, definitely within policy, I'm sure. I snort at my own joke and begin brushing the little white cat. Oh, I get it. It's be very easy to colour a white cat. He's a lot more lively uh, than old Bumbles and keeps trying to bite the brush. Hey, don't make me get the harness, socks. That's no fun for either of us. Cap seems to understand and settles down, only giving the brush an occasional nip when he thinks I won't notice. Oh, hello. What's this? I notice a little red patch on his neck, just under his chin. Oh no, you don't have bot flies, do we? Poor Soxy. Take the magnifying glass out of my inner pocket and examine the inflamed area closer. Ouch. Socks begins to struggle away from me. He must be in quite a lot of discomfort. It's okay, Socks. I'm just thinking. I stroke the little cat to try and calm him down. I hate using sedatives on subjects unless absolutely necessary. What's this over here? Ebony and Mitch are both vacuum cleaners. I don't think Ebony is so much as Mitch. Like, she does kind of slowly eat her food most of the time. She, I know occasionally she will just inhale it, but yeah. After a while, I'm able to get a better look at the wound. Ebony is worse. I've seen her, like, slowly eat, though, a number of times. Mitch always eats fast. There doesn't seem to be anything living under there. I'm relieved I don't have to deal with any bot flies. Hmm. It's like a rash or a sore, but I'm not sure how or where he could have picked it up. I'm wary about how to proceed. Should I just clean it with the uh, with some saline solution and let uh, the air get to it? Or should I put some of Professor Soothing Cream 116 on it and wrap it in gum? How do you pronounce this, guys? I've never been able to pronounce this. I know what it is. It's like bandages, isn't it? But put the cat down. <laughs> So we have the option of cream or saline solution. Gauze. I thought it was, but I didn't want to assume it was that. I just accidentally pressed again there. So are we gonna are we gonna cream it or are we gonna saline solution it? I think I would personally saline solution as I have no idea what cream 116 is, and I'm a little bit worried about a little bit hesitant about using that. So Snake Eater says cream. What kind of uh, mark is it? It's like a rash. No one else gonna decide? I guess we'll just go with cream then. Cream 116 is designed for conditions like this, so I suppose that's what I should use. As I approach socks arches his back and puffs up his fur. I'm surprised by his reaction. He's normally quite a brave little soldier. Maybe it stings? I dab a little of the cream onto my arm to see what the effect is. After a few minutes I realize what a twit I'm being. A cream designed for a cat is hardly going to affect my skin. I get on with the job in hand and apply the cream to a very peeved socks. Later that evening, I notice a small patch of smooth, pale skin on my arm and realize the hair has rubbed off. Research 6. Yes! A new unlocks! What? Okay, we've unlocked something, guys. What have we done? What should we do today? Well, the antidote has gone up a little bit, it's now 2.8. So, we have the option to rest, romance, research, or recon. We're getting quite down on health here, but we still have two hearts left, so I think we can still do another day if we want to, but I don't know if there's a chance of actually losing another heart while we're out. Rest actually restores all health, it seems. So, what should we do? I think we should do some more romance, shouldn't we? Research? Want to do more research? So the amount I can do, because there's more 
like, you know, there's like... Can you only do three per each person or something like that? In which case, we've actually screwed ourselves out of doing stuff with Kevin, haven't we, completely? And that's a huge problem. Research? A bit more research? So, oh, we've completed that one now. We've also unlocked, was it six? Is six a new one? Yes, it is. Uh, follic, follicle Miracle. It's time for some serious testing in the lab. I'm intrigued to see what kind of work the professor has up his sleeve. Are you making an antidote? Yes, for the people who have seemingly turned into cats. So, uh, since we've completed number four, we now have only five, six, twelve, and sixteen remaining. Five is cat collection, twelve is cataloging samples, and sixteen is field work. So, which one are we going to do out of these? Six? You need to get scientific. I know we do. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing research wind. Which one? fish paste. Some holy fish paste. Is it actually suitable for vegetarians, though? Do number six? Yeah, let's stick with that. I guess this is kind of a follow-up to what we were doing before. My stomach is queasy. I really don't want to do this. Strange. I'm used to treating subjects with medication and injections, but something about this doesn't feel right. Hello, you. I smile at the gentle cat on the table in front of me. I look at the syringe in my hand. I turn to the professor. What are you testing for, for with these meds again? He looks up from his desk. Is there a problem, Tim? I've already told you. It's supposed to stimulate hair growth. Why do you need to stimulate hair growth? Why indeed? However, ours is not to question why, Tim. The likes of you and I perform the tasks set out by the people who pay our wages. Such is life, huh? The professor returns to his work, and I understand the conversation is over. I look back at the little cat. His name is Smokey. He's a Lakoi cat, with very short, fine hair. A real sweetie. As a professor, the professor is right. This is just my job. And although I feel terrible, I find a way to ignore the pangs of guilt and inject Smokey with the medication. He squeals, but it's over quickly, and he can return to his cage. How long does this usually take? The professor looks up again, slightly irritated. I don't know, Tim, but you're being paid to find out that out, aren't you, my dear? Oh yes, of course. I make a note of the time and observe the cat. After five minutes, there's no noticeable change. Ten minutes. Still no change. After half an hour, I think I notice his hair looks a little different, but I suspect my eyes are playing tricks on me. One hour in, and all of a sudden I can see the hair is visibly longer, and seems to be continuing to grow. I must say I'm very impressed and a little confused. I decide to take a tea break. Smokey seems content for, uh, to nap for a while. Should be taking measurements. Yeah, not doing very good scientists, are we? Can I get you a cup of coffee, Professor? Oh, tea, sorry. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how you can tolerate the foul stuff they brew up in uh, the mess tent. We already know about this. Why are we offering tea? I have my own thermos of uh, coffee here. Thank you. And we know that already. Fair enough. I'll be back in a bit. I've only gone for 10 minutes at the most, but as I enter with a mug of tea, I instantly notice drama taking place in Smokey's cage. I find it hard to stifle a laugh. Oh my goodness! Professor, have you seen this? The professor looks up, exasperated by another interruption, but then he notices the cage. <laughs> the koi is a very, um, kind of close to hairless cat. It's very, very, um, thin fur, though quite long in patches. They can be bald in some spots. Oh dear. Well, don't just stand there, Tim. Get him out! I open the front of the cage and pull out the large hairball that Smokey has turned into. His fur trembles over my arms as a cradle of the bewildered cat. Well, 
I never. Very interesting, isn't it, Tim? Huh. I think it's still growing, Professor. I do believe you're right. Perhaps we should consider the clippers. The Professor hands me a small set of silver electric clippers, and I immediately begin working, uh, sorry, using them on the ever-expanding Smokey. I continue to shave for the next 15 minutes until he finally seems to run out of fur. Why, that's a lot of hair! Is this for bald people? Is this, like, gonna go to charity or something? We both stand staring at the pile of fur at our feet. Just keep a small amount for testing and put the rest of it out of the back. Uh, Mora? More who's Mora? Can dispose of it later. Is that the late... Oh, I don't know, actually, apparently. Mrs. Mary... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it is. Excellent work today, Tim. Uh, most interesting findings. Shh! You're a very good scientist. Uh, thank you, sir. Although the results had nothing to do with me, I'm left feeling a tad guilty about Smokey's ordeal. As I place him back in this, his cage, I check for any signs of trauma, and when satisfied he is okay, I awkwardly take my leave. Okay, so we've done research nine. Hooray! Now today, I think we need to rest, don't we? Because otherwise we're going to die, or should we just kill ourselves? Oh, we can do that if you want, it's up to you guys. But if you want to just keep going, we can keep going and see what happens, but... Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea. We should maybe rest. Otherwise, we've only got four characters left, haven't we? If there's anything to go research, are you kidding me? I'd rest. Anyone else? I think you need to get some rest. Like, maybe we can maybe we can kill Tim off, like, the second time. But I think because we killed off our first character so quickly, we might need to... <laughs> yeah, let's get some rest. <laughs> do a rest, okay. But I say next time we do. I say next time we do. There are waves crashing. The sound is so loud. I can't make myself uh, make myself be heard, but I still scream to the life raft that's moving away from the sinking ship. I'm going down with the ship. I'm being thrashed against the sides of the old wooden vessel. This isn't right. The ship looks wrong. Ugh, what the bloody hell's that? A cat's face looms close up to mine. Everyone is wrong, all of it. Oh, I see that. Oh, which cat are you? But the words come out of my mouth as mewling. Oh god, I was wrong. And I realize I am not myself. I'm some kind of beast. Suddenly I'm flying. I'm in the claws of some enormous bird. The beating wings are deafening. I look down to see the ground approaching me really fast. Regret rest. You can drop through the beak. What does that mean? What break? What break? Oh, sorry, break, not beak. Okay. I guess that's what I said. Oh, hello. Breakfast, rise and shine. I told you research. Well, you know, I think I think it's a small price to pay uh, when death could be an option there. Right, so what are we doing next then? More research? Romance? Recon? R -r 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 and rest. I just realised everything begins with all. I think got 4.2% of the antidote done. That's pretty bad. I regret everything. <sighs> okay. Let's do that then, yeah. It's not a bad idea. Right, so which number of research are we doing? Oh, ready to leave. Once you complete your research, your time on Cat Island will come to an end. Have you seen everything you wanted to see? Maybe we shouldn't do this? It's up to you guys again. Yes, I'm ready or no, I have more to do. I think not. Given this, I think it's going to kick us out, isn't it? On to the next character. No. Yeah. Okay, so what should we do instead then? Should we try recon since we've never done it, or...? We've got a lot of romancing we can do. Romance? Nah, I think we should do some romance. Recon? Oh, this is digging right in my ears. Some field work done. <laughs> but it's a cat dating sim. Exactly. I'm gonna date some cats. I'm gonna date. 
we supposed to like try and juice as much as we can out of this? I mean like with every other character I think we'll try and do that, but I think this character we should definitely kill them off by not resting enough. See what happens. I'm so curious. It's like 18 endings to this game. Days. Ah, go on, that's days, shall we? We need to recon as well, I suppose. So, oh. Oh no. Guys. Guys, we've we've upset the other two. Ah. Wait, that means, um, we kind of screwed ourselves over here because we're not going to be able to date every single one of the cats, are we? Because we've, one of our characters kind of gave up, you know, we, but yeah, we've actually upset two cats there. I think this calls for two more catastrophes because we've broken the heart of McMurphy and uh, Fluffy Butt. Fluffy Butt, sorry. Plus one. Doing. You're trying. You're really trying. Go on, give it on. Give that another go. I guess we only have one option then. And that's to continue going with Snooty Booty. Meow. Snooty Booty? Snoot? I've been searching for the Sphinx for what feels like ages. For a cat that never seems to move, she's surprisingly difficult to find. I answered. I am answered eventually by an un. Intelligible murmur coming from shade of a nearby tree. Of course, she's sleeping. Uh, catastrophes are anything that just is a catastrophe. But with cats, because it's a pun and it's terrible. But yeah, welcome back. Snoopy Booty? Why have we gone with the, like the possibly the most pompous cat? Why, why have we done this? Yeah, it's, it's tied to a death count because we keep it as deaths, because, well, you know, it's the same command for my moderators. I poke at her gently to try and rouse her. I have something for you. A gift, as it happens. Oh, and God, what was the voice I did for this, like? Shit, I've forgotten. Oh, human, it's you. Whatever are you doing up and about at this time? It's midday, Boots. Oh, this is me. This is me. Snooty stares at me uncomprehendingly. Yeah. <laughs> I have an hour for lunch, and I came to spend it with you. Aww. But if it's not a convenient time, I could always go to find something else to do. Wait, you mentioned a gift? Well, yes, I suppose. I had the idea when uh, we were drinking. Well, when you were drinking from the coconut I fetched you, uh, for you the other day. I took some of the remaining coconuts over to the lab and cooked up some coconut oil. Ah. Your mum would be very positively happy with this news wind. From my mum to your mum. Snoozy Booty opens her mouth wide. I sit awkwardly staring at her unsure what exactly she's doing. Well... I'm ready to break my fast human. It's hard sometimes to know whether to laugh or spit uh, with... Uh, what? Oh, spit with this spoiled feeling right here. No, Boots, that isn't for eating. You mentioned how good uh, drinking coconut water is for you, so I thought uh, you would might like some coconut oil to rub into your skin, keep you moisturized and useful. Why doesn't your mum do this, Wind? Smother herself in coconut oil. Aren't you terribly clever? I can't help but blush. <laughs> Snoozy Booty rarely compliments anyone. So I feel honoured. I think she does, oh dear. You may begin. Snoozy Booty lolls onto her back, uh, exposing her plump pink tummy to me. Oh, you want me to rub it in for you? <laughs> Snooty Booty simply smiles in response. Well, I please wouldn't go and miss. Oh yes, I didn't want to make a fuss, but I would prefer it if you asked first. I actually love this. I sigh. There's not much point in arguing with Princess Snooty Booty. I don't think she's actually she actually means to be rude. Sometimes she just doesn't seem to understand how to talk to people as equals. I don't have the energy to deal with it today, but 
I make a note that at some point, she and I are going to have a little chat about Edward. Please may I rub this coconut oil into your skin. Oh god. It's going a little bit, uh, is this going to be okay, like, streaming this? Yes, you may. I pour some of the pungent liquid into the palm of my hand and rub it together with the other. I have no idea what I'm doing, as I've never massaged anyone before, but I work along the lines of putting... i sorry. I work along the lines of putting sun cream on a friend. As I touch the warm, loose skin of Snooty's primordial pouch, I'm struck by how delicate she really is, and I try to be as gentle as possible. Is that okay? You're very skillful with your hands, human. Okay. I do so wish I had those thumb things. They seem so useful. They're quite handy, to be honest, but paws are cool too. Yeah. Hmm. Oh god, that actually hurt my throat. Snoozy Booty lazily inspects one of a one of a paws. Scarier than the skin is, I get what you mean. Let's have a moment of uh, of pause for that poor pun. Stop stepping on my screen. Do my pause next, will you? Snoozy's so skin is reacting well to the treatment and has become shiny and pliant. Does that even how you pronounce that? I see the good it's doing. I move on to massage her paws, but I'm t quite taken aback by the length of her claws. Oh my boots, your claws are really quite long. Don't you use a scratch post or anything? Hey, what? You know, something abrasive to file them on? Or whatever for. Well, it's part of being a cat, really. Stops them catching on things. Snooty Booty is peering at me with one judgmental eye open. Caught on what exactly? Oh, I don't know, Snoots. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. Oh no. Do go on. I'm intrigued. You seem to be implying that there is a degree of neglect to me in my grooming. No, I most certainly am not. You are by far the most high maintenance, I mean highly groomed cat, I've ever seen. In fact, you are the perfect example of a sphinx. Where's my voice going? I'm a what? A sphinx? She's trying to get me to say perfect again. It's hard to keep my face straight. Absolutely perfect, Snoops. And you're an expert? Well, I wouldn't call myself that, but I have been reading up on Sphinx Cats, and you have all the characteristics of a pedigree. It's very sweet of you to say so. Remind me, what would those be? I hesitate for a moment, trying to remember what Pause for Thought listed as the top features to look for in a Sphinx. There was rather, uh, rather a lot of info. I... And I want uh, to give her the best bits, so we can either flatter or be accurate. What are we doing? Flattering her now? After that, before we, I, I, I felt like maybe we should stick to just sassing her. We can be accurate. Is there a cat version of Crufts? I don't think so. Cats are very. Well, you can train a cat, can't you? Of course you can. But you know they're not that willing. You know they don't really. It's not an easy accomplishment. Be scientifically accurate. Go on. Anyone else?
thank you on Capitals. I'm glad that you're here. Accuracy. Okay. Well, let no way know what voice. Well, let's see. Sphinx cats are well known for their strong, muscular physiques. Snooty Beauty stares silently. She's obviously in gross, so I continue. Which is counterbalanced by their little pot bellies. She shifts a little, stretching out her torso. And your opinion that I fit. Uh, oh. Oh, your opinion. What? And you're of the opinion that I fit this description? Perfectly. I noticed how cute your pot was when I was massaging oil onto it. Into it, yeah. yeah. That texture, too. I recite the sentence word for word. Although saggy in appearance, the texture of the Sphinx is surprisingly firm and rubbery to the touch, not unlike a hot water bottle. She blinks slowly. I imagine this is so interesting for her. Also, because they don't have fur to soak up excess oil, they have a tendency to be greasy and need to be periodically petted, uh, patted down with a cloth. Dear. The manual also goes into great detail about the very unique personalities of Sphinx. And I'm sure you remember every word of that too. Absolutely! They're incredibly antisocial with some other domesticated animals, yet extremely affectionate, even needy with humans, demanding attention at all times. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I know. The affectionate part uh, was a bit wide, a bit of a, a bit wide of the mark. Oh, right. But otherwise, it's spot on. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It said they grow patches of uh, downy. Uh, in the colder months? Is that just true? I, I never knew those. You may stop now. <laughs> God damn it, Tim. Okay. Alright, take care, Snakey. So thanks for coming by. Thanks for helping me out with these decisions and whatnot. The mood seems to have worsened. You <laughs> okay, Snoots? Actually, I am rather concerned for my overgrown claws. Eh. Well. There is little I can do about being a pot-bellied water, hot water bottle, but I can at least keep my claws neat. I've obviously hurt her feelings. Maybe the description weren't that flattering. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe I can help with that. Go on. How about I give you a manicure? Well, it can't hurt, I suppose. Tomorrow. I'll be here on my in my lunch break. You know, Snoots, you are the most beautiful aristocratic cat on the island. Well, the competition is hardly what one would call worthy. Oh, I don't know. The elders can be quite fetching in the right light. In spite of all her efforts to hide it, I catch a glimmer of a smile before she curls up to sleep. Good night. Oh, it's Snoots, the other two cats behind her. So we're back here. Antidote's now 5.6% completely. It's really going up slow, isn't it? So, what are we doing today, then? We've got uh, three days left to do things, and that would actually probably end the stream as well, thinking about it, you know, like, after the death of Tim, depending if Tim does die or not. So, go on. What are we doing now? Recon? Did want to do recon before, so... Maybe a bit of recon and then some more. Oh, hi there, Wolf Rain. How are you doing? Oh god. Uh, defend me, guys, please. Ban them all. <laughs> oh. oh, they're end of life. That is a very positive name to see after a raid. Uh, I, I have much life to live, so please do not follow through with that. Oh, 2025. Oh, that's fine then. At least I have five more years to do games. Yes, welcome everyone. Oh god. Neon Kana. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Hello there, guys. Welcome. Thank you very much for the raid as well, Neon Kana. I don't believe you've been here before, but thank you so much for coming by. It's good to see you. Uh, can we get a shout out for these two? And in the meantime, in the meantime, moderators, if you would give them a shout out, please. Give Wolf Rain and Neon Kana a shout out. Um, what, what, what is going on? You're spamming me with bananas now. Five years in furry is not much 
only uh, only six months. Oh God! I see what you mean. It's five cat years. I think I've got maybe like yeah a few months to live. Yes, welcome guys. Uh, at the moment, we are doing a belated Valentine's Day stream because I was ill. Uh, last week, unfortunately, during Valentine's Day, I was supposed to be streaming this. This is perfect date, which is, um... Yeah, it's a cat dating sim for the most part, but it seems to go a little bit more in depth about uh, than, than just that, you know. More to it than that kind of surface level. <sighs> What's that? Spam with sandwich. Delicious. Could you please provide me with a sandwich? I'd really appreciate that. So you've both been playing GTA. Ah, you've both been playing together. Hey, where was my invite? GTA 5, is that? Oh, guys. No, I only saw it a while back, actually, because it was having so many issues. It kept on crashing all the bloody time. I hope they fix that now. It's like me and all my friends, we couldn't play it anymore. So I hope they have sorted that out. So I hope it's been all right for you guys. I go away for a minute and we're over on Raiders, yes. Uh, but otherwise, yes, I am Alonzo Ryan, and I do a variety of various streams, you know, mostly focus on survival horror, classic survival horror, but um, I do everything. I really, really do everything, like, um, you know, spent more time playing tennis in GTA 5 than Grand Theft. <laughs> I stole your invite. I stole your invite. I stole your invite. Huh? Variety, yes. I mean, what have we been doing recently? I came back after a year hiatus, and since then I've been focusing most- Well, I just finished Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, but the insane remake of it, and otherwise I've just really been focused on Bloodborne, aside from doing a few co-op things with a few friends. Um, well, we're going to be doing more of that later. What's that, sorry? Try again in a few minutes. Did it not work? Hang on a second, I can do one. Myself. It does unfortunately mean I used to have hours of this, but let's see. Neon. Neon cannon. Have I got that right? There we go. That works. I go through. I wonder if it's got a cooldown for you guys. If it has, I'll sort that out because it shouldn't do. It really, really shouldn't do for the moderators, but it's been so long since I set that up. It's one of the things I did set up before I um, finished streaming and whatnot. Oh god, I can't tap back into the game now. Oh, there we go, I got it. Oh, you already did a shout-out for Neon. Oh. Get a double shout-out. Get more shout-outs. Oh, good. <laughs> Mac already did it before Wind. Well, Wind, you're just being silly. Right, so, we've got to make a decision here. What should I do today? We're going to uh, try the recon for the first time. Give him a third. Or, or her. It could be her. I need to check you out at some point, though, because, like I said, I'm not familiar with yourself, Neon Connor, so... Big thank you for raiding, I really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much to Ender Life 225 for following. Very much appreciate that. Uh, two, uh, oh, 2025, sorry. So what's Recon all about? Ah, we have numbers for this. So we have 2, 4, 7, and 10. Let's check out what each one of these are. The others we probably have to unlock at some point. Trixie has been... Uh, environmental research. Trixie has been telling me about a strange phenomenon in a nearby rock pool. I've decided it's probably worth checking out. Ooh. And then another one we have is interviewing staff. That security guard I met when I arrived might be a good lead. Time for a bit of interrogation work. <laughs> Just get him... <laughs> Analyzing products. Snoot has brought me something intriguing. I'd better check it out. That might be a good one to do since... So I think it's someone just revved up their car engine right in front of my window, scared the shit out of me. Secret source. A secret message, a uh, strange message, sorry, in the middle of the night. Doesn't anyone on this island sleep? I think we should do number seven. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is serious work. Yeah, very serious work. And it says in, exclam uh, sorry, in capital letters at the very top, WHICH RECON TEST SHOULD I CARRY OUT? Because it's very aggressive work. Very, very serious. What's going on here? I'm getting so many notifications at the moment. Go with seven. Okay. Let's do it then. I mean, it seems to fit in, like I said. Tim. Are you still sleeping? 
really ought to be awake by now. What's this? Oh. Oh, hello there, Tomb Explore. Bloody hell, you must have done a bit of a quick stream. Thank you so much for raiding as well. Crikey. I've not been raided since I got back, and then all of a sudden I've got three in a row. Uh, well, I, I was raided once. Yes, I was, actually, during Bloodborne, wasn't I? My Tomb Raid... Uh, sorry? My... Oh, PC is crashing and banging. Oh, dear. I hope everyone's alright. I know you've been having a lot of trouble lately. I do have quite an old PC, but... Sorry, stream hasn't gone to plan there. What's this? Uh... Keo Bliss, I think that is. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Keo Bliss? Thank you very much for following. And, uh, yeah, thank you for coming by, Raiders. I'm terribly sorry the stream hasn't gone as planned. Last playing art. Oh, what kind of art were you playing? <laughs> What's that mean? Uh, does it mean you were drawing art, or...? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I mean, you do draw, don't you? So it would make sense. You did your own emojis. Paint.net crashes. Oh dear. Sorry to hear that. Well, it's good to have you back, either way. And Google crashes too, so I can get kicked out at any time. Oh dear. Snooty Booty, are you okay? What are you doing in my tent? Uh, thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate this. I'm kind of still doing a lot of testing and things like that before I get back into streaming seriously. So, I do, I do apologize if there's any typical errors or anything like that. All this lazing about is very bad for your complexion. To say nothing about the dragging effects in on delicate tissue around my, uh, around the eye, sorry. Is there something I can help you with? Oh. Thank you for following as well, Neon. <laughs> really appreciate this. Thank you so much, guys. And possibly, I have something I want you to look at. What were you doing in GTA 5, by the way, guys? Like I said, it's been a while since I did last play. Maybe get back into there at some point. I have so many things I need to focus on at the moment. I think I've got the year planned already to some degree. So I'm so behind. The sound, it seems like Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Hello there, Mike. Um No, not really. I, I'm not I'm not really feeling that. What did we say it was like earlier on? It was something, but um Final Fantasy VIII is one of my favourite games of all time for the record. No, it is my favourite game of all time. I think it's a bit underrated. Mostly the, the the killed they killed you all. Wow, neon, neon buddy, pal. Are you trying to tell me that Wolf Rain is bullying you? Because you didn't talk to me about this kind of thing. I know what it's like to be bullied by Wolf Rain. No, we didn't. I, he he's probably just saying that. We were very nice. The notification sound Alonzo. Sorry, what? What? Oh, the notification sound. Oh God, I'm being an idiot. So sorry. No, Mike, yes, you're right, it is from Final Fantasy VIII, it is the save sound. I'm so sorry, I thought you meant the music from this game, I didn't click. <laughs> I totally didn't kill him. Uh, they, they, they amused, then they uh, he called me a cheater, just because I was just better at racing than him. I, it happens. When you're on our level, Neon, people like Wolfrain, they... they they really do sink down to a level that is just incomprehensible. Just to say that, you know, there is a reason why you're winning all the damn time. I understand, I understand. I just win at every game I play when I play, you know, with my friends. And I just make up excuse after excuse. It really hurts deep down. You guys just don't understand. Luke, look, this is my fiance here, another wolf. Does the same bloody thing. Just jealous because I'm not a cat. Oh, because I'm a cat. Oh god, you're a cat too! It's the wolves, I swear! I'm not being- it's not discrimination. It's not discrimination, Bruce. It's the wolves. It clearly is the wolves, isn't it? Get your pain. That's why he wanted me to make the BB map. What's the BB map? BB map. A Bloodborne. Right, sorry. I'm, I don't know why, but I never click on these, um... Where are they? They're abbreviations? I don't know. Wolves unite. Cats unite. We'll fight you. We're stronger than you. Screams and kangaroo, you. Aruagi. Never would have known you're a kangaroo. Welcome. <laughs> Name like that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, now. What time is it? Oh, no, sorry, that's. Right now? What time is it? The time you were active. Come along. Well, 
least let me get ready. Very well. Susie Booty sits down and starts grooming herself. After a moment, she looks up again. Why aren't you ready yet? I, um, can you leave the tent so that I can get dressed? For goodness sake. Susie Booty rolls her eyes and walks out. I get dressed, resigning, resigning, like, yeah, and follow her. What do you think it is? I'm intrigued. We're on the beach, staring at a particularly, uh, uh, sorry, partially buried, not particularly, buried bottle sealed inside a plastic bag. It looks as though it has only recently washed up. Let's tie our bond of wolfhood and revolt, that doesn't sound right, against the barbs of the fi- No! No! What are you doing? Stop it, Wynn! That's disgusting! That's vi- God, keep that filth on my stream. Welcome. Shout out to the Komodo dragon I found on Google once, uh, made my Skype profile, and then it ended up becoming a Twitch emote for some reason. What? Okay. Alright, sleep well, Neon. Thank you so much for coming by. Hopefully see you again, and I'll try to check you out myself sometime. If ever I get chance, because I'm just busy forever at the moment, yes. Stop being busy someday, hopefully. So I was ill through the entire January, and can't stop getting ill. <laughs> well, there's really only one way to find out. I put the... God, I can't talk now. I pulled the bottle out of the sand. It has some kind of document or note in the bag, along with the bottle. What is that thing? Read it to me. It's a good thing I'm just as curious as Snooty, or I'd, fe uh, I'd be feeling a lot more irritable. Oh, no. I carefully unseal the bag and unfold the paper. I read the note out loud. Initial tests on the most recent formula are encouraging. Subjects 6 through to 18 appeared visibly younger. Moderate to severe side effects. Now I've got hiccups. Moderate to severe side effects noted, including increased hair growth and marked, uh, or marked possibly, mood alteration. Subjects 1, I was about to say I then, through to 5 had major complications. Some new, small true. Uh, well, again, small. Some new small tumours, uh, skin irritation, partial blindness and memory loss. We need to look into this. Check for uh, containments and continue to iterate on the formula. I'm so sorry, like, as I've got... Uh, how far are we in now? Two and a half hours, Too me a well set up. I'm getting worse and worse at reading as I go through. We're off to a really good start. Anyway. After all the technical issues we had at the beginning. Appeared visibly younger? Snooty boozy. Is that the most important thing you gathered from this report? You're quite right, Tim. We ought not to trust it. The notes could have been written by anyone. We shall conduct our own experiment. Apply the cream to my skin. Have you lost your mind, Snooty boozy? <laughs> Did you not hear what I read out? Tumors? Blindness, memory loss, just do it. Statistics bore me. You should know that by now. Let's live a little. I'm willing to take the risk in the name of science. No, we're not taking any risks, Noosey Booty. You wait here while I go and get my kit bag from the lab. Let's see if uh, if we can't work out... What was the obsession with putting can't instead of can? Work out, uh, what this stuff is made of. SCIENCE! <laughs> yes. I was hoping the lab would be free, but the professor is in here making some notes. Ah, uh, hello, Tim! I should have given him a Professor Oak voice, and I can't remember what the bloody hell Professor Oak sounds like in the, f sounds like in the first place, so think about it, let alone a bloody Pokedex. I thought you were taking a day off from the lab today. Oh yes, I am, Professor. I just, uh... I wanted to check something. I can't take the test equipment away without the professor getting suspicious. I'll have to come up with some kind of an excuse. So, our excuses, guys, or try to take the equipment without porpoising, or make up an excuse. Do you think we're stealthy enough to do the first one, or do we need to make up an excuse, guys? 
by the way guys you can follow me on twitter with that link there and the facebook link over there the news and updates i really need to update these bloody things they're still they've been the same for years and years so what do you think what to do i think bullshit your way through it i think we can do that do you think tim is capable of making shit up though him. Or do you think this is going to result in death? Worst thing about an excuse is he'll be suspicious. Trying to make her, trying to take the equipment without getting caught could be grounds for being fired. Hmm. That's a good point. I think, I think you're right. We should bullshit our way through it. <laughs> Shoot heroin. Um... That's another. That, that's the third hidden option. I'm afraid we can't click it though. Look, oh dear, not happening. Right, so make an excuse. Well, I wanted to get ahead of some of the field work. There are some samples I found that I think could be useful. Why don't we just tell them that we're here. We can talk to cats. You know, it's just, I don't think we're going crazy. I, can, I pick up the field kit bag. I mean, hasn't he? Even, hasn't he been like, where the bloody hell's Kevin? You must know about this shit. Pauper looks up from his research. His work, sorry. I think not know. Oh, what kind of samples? I have to make this believable, but also invite no other questions. The samples are... The fecal. Fecal? Yes, a large poo, sir. Uh, it has a rather in... It has rather interesting properties. Jolly good. Off you go, then. Fecal. I thought it was. I don't know why I said that. Nailed it! I take the bag and leave. Or I go with shit, which I made up through bullshit. As I approach the beach, it becomes clear Snoozy Booty has managed to break into the ointment. She appears to have spilled some, and is now busy rolling around in it. Oh dear. Snoozy Booty! What were you thinking? This could have been very dangerous! The only danger here is this ghastly sand sticking to my delicate skin. Do help me get rid of it, Tim. So do you have a favourite cat, or... How does this work? Um, well, I let these guys pick what cat we were dating, and they ended up going with this one. There were, there were five options, and... Well, we didn't actually have two of them. We have to unlock two of them as a choice. Uh, the other two was, like, an Irish cat, and then a big fluffy cat, if I remember correctly, who looks like Garfield. And then this cat, which uh, was very, very posh looking, and um, yeah. Well, he broke the hearts of the rest, yeah, by dating this one. And a mysterious sick one, yes, I forgot about that. But uh, this is our second character, the first one actually disappeared. I'm not even making this up, like, we assume that it became a cat. Uh, that was called Kevin, and the playthrough lasted an entire um... 30 minutes, I think, or something like that. The rest of the stream has been focusing on this one. And we're gonna we're gonna now gonna work this one to exhaustion and see what happens, because there's m multiple endings, including bad ones. We're gonna try to get another bad ending here. And then move on to the next character. We're just giving these people random names and then picking a character. 30 minutes, 25 of which uh, was voice acting. <laughs> 18 endings, yeah. I try to wipe the sand off, but it is stuck like glue. Underneath the layer of sand, Snoozy Boots is gonna die. I can see her skin is very pink. There's no time to lose. I pick her up and run to the ocean. <laughs> Just dunk her in. <laughs> Trying to use the seawater to clean off as much of the ointment as I can. Put me down. What on earth? I've never been so humiliated in my life. She twists out of my grip and scampers off in a huff. I think I've got uh, it all off, so I leave her to it. Now back to the samples. There's not much I can do here on the beach, so I'll just have to wait until Professor Pauper has finished in the lab. Well, that was quick. As luck would have it, the Professor needed to retire to his tent earlier than usual. He has to read some research papers that have arrived from the mainland this morning. So now, I can continue looking into this ointment. I begin by testing the substances for several common compound, compound sorry, found in cosmetics, but it's negative for all of them. I widen the tests for other organic compounds. I get a match. About 30% of the ointment is 
Uh, sorry, of the ointment. It, yeah. Is cat saliva? Right, okay. If they're using saliva from the cats of the island, uh, they could be infecting all their test subjects with catification. But where have uh, these other side effects come from? Run back the uh, I run back the ointment again. This time, looking for known pharma pharmaceuticals before I can get the results back. Snooty Booty comes trotting in. I just thought you should know that the security guard is coming this way. You should make yourself scarce before he arrives. Not that I care what happens to you after you threw me into the ocean. Umbrella, it's gotta be Umbrella, yes. This is actually a prequel to Resident Evil. I've no time to finish off this experiment now. Or well, maybe this is Resident Evil 8. Uh, but I will work on it later in the privacy of my tent. I take my things and run before Zane arrives. Resident Evil Meow Evil. Maybe a uh, Resident Meow Evil, sorry. Maybe this is like how Wesker ended up being half cat. Maybe. So, guys, what are we doing next? More romance, more research, more recon? Will we, uh, are we gonna. I don't, I don't want to rest, like I said. But. <laughs> that was Kevin, yes. I don't remember there being a Tim in Resident Evil, do you guys? Maybe one of the... You know, I think one of the people who wrote the diary in one of the diaries in Resident Evil 1 might have been called Tim. I'm going to Google this, see if it comes up with any results. So, um... Resident Evil Tim. Let's recognise my voice. Uh, let's come up with Tim the... Okay. Let's give someone... Oh, hang on a second, we've got something. Wildstorm Universe, what's this? Resident Evil Wiki Tim. 1998 RPD works at the RPD. Oh my god, he works at the RPD. <laughs> oh god. Who was present at Emmy's din dinner? Diner? Sorry. Oh, we when Terry and Deb arrived. Who the bloody hell are they? After thanking Emmy for the coffee he left, what happened to him after is uncertain. I don't know who these people are. I'm gonna guess this might have been one of the. Um, looking at the drawing there is, maybe one of the comics? That was set in the Resident Evil universe. Um, so uh, we're doing research. More research? That'll end it, actually. If we do research, that'll end it, holy fish paste. So that'll be it. I suggest we do something else, really, first before we do that. Then we can exhaust ourselves with research, murder ourselves with research. What the hell is this? Resident Evil, the official comic magazine. Emmy's Bloody Spoon. Ah. Right, okay, so it is one of the comics, that's right. Never heard of this one before. Published by Wildstorm, uh, set between 1998 and 1999. When did these come out? 2000s, right. Early 2000s, so it might have been, um... Huh. Very early, or so it might have been 2000 by the looks it came out. No one gonna choose anything? I'll choose myself. We'll go with romance, I think. Actually, no, go on, let's do more recon. Uh, so what have we got? Security guard I met when I arrived, a good lead. It hasn't really led on to anything else. Nothing else has been unlocked through doing this one, has it? Strange message in the middle of the night. Does anyone on this island sleep? Um, go on, let's do that. I hear my catalog beeping. I presume it's the professor. I tumble out of bed half asleep and uh, fumble around looking for the device. I look at my, uh, I look at the screen, my eyes struggling to focus. The message isn't from the professor at all. There's no contact information. Unknown number. Come outside. Oh dear. Who is this? Come outside. Oh. Obviously, I aren't going to respond to my question. Should I do as the message tells me? No. It's a bit of a night. There's no way I'm going out on my own to meet up with someone who refuses to reveal their identity. I go back to bed, put my head under the pillow, and try to get back to sleep. I say try, because I can't. My catalogue keeps beeping over and over. Each time, it's the same message. I consider turning it off, but hesitates. Whatever the professor needs me. 
I switch it to silent, but the vibration continues and begins to bore into my brain. Hello there, uh, what's that? Sorry, if it's quite distant. Uh, Muns Munsky, I think there is? Mun- Mun- Monksky? Oh, it might be a Mun CSI 1? I'm not sure. Thank you so much for following, <laughs> sorry. I need to bring my screen closer, I recently sorted this out. I need to turn it more in this direction, but my PS4 is in the way, I'm afraid. I switched to so yeah, we got that. Okay, you win. I angrily dress myself and crawl out of the tent. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Anyone out here? My catalogue beeps again. Walk to the edge of the forest, oh dear. I'm not going any further until you tell me who you are. Walk to the edge of the forest. No! Walk to the edge of the forest. Walk to the edge of the forest. Walk to the edge of the forest. Stop it! By now, I realise I have to. Uh, I have walked to the edge of the forest, Pom. Oh, right, we were moving. At the edge of the forest, I see something on the ground. As I get closer, it becomes clear that it's a small. Uh, posy, posy, posy. What does that mean again? Of flowers. Does it mean like a grouping of flowers? Is that a name for a grouping of flowers, perhaps? I gingerly pick them up and notice that several of the flower heads are missing. My catalogue beeps again. Follow the petals. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Tim's gonna be dead. And that's when I see a trail of orange petals. The same colour as the bouquet I, um, I'm holding. Well, I've come this far. No turning back now. I begin to walk. I'm nervous, so I call out. Hello? No answer. Louder this time. Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, oh yeah. Hello. Hello? Who is that? Who goes there? Major, is that you? Fluffy boss? I really wish you wouldn't call me that human. What on earth do you think you're playing as? Cab- Cab- Around the forest in the dead of the night, causing a ruckus. Oh, Major. I don't know how- uh, You don't know how pleased I am to see you. I need your help. You can't wait until a ci until civilized hour. I'm afraid it can't. I'm not the the one invest instigating this. Sorry, I'm having so much trouble reading now. I've been getting messages from an anonymous source asking me to follow them into the forest. Look, they left us this trail. Pardon? Oh, that's the name of the flower, I guess. Ah, uh, Cal Calendula Maritama. Herbs of the sun. They're said to represent creativity, though some believe them to be symbols of cruelty and grief. Your knowledge is always so impressive, but I have to say, on this occasion, it's not very comforting. Fluffy Boo, uh, Fluffy Bot goes striding off with a purpose. Come along, then, Tim. Are you going to follow this trail? I shuffle awkwardly behind you. Before the sun comes up. We continue on for a short while, and notice that the petals are getting more sparse. It's becoming more difficult to see them, until eventually they seem to run out and we find ourselves at a small clearing. Well, seems that somebody has been playing a joke on you, Sam. I sadly agree. This has been nothing but a wild goose chase. Seems so, Major. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Let's get back to our beds before we waste any more precious snooze time on this fool. I turn to Fluffy Boss and notice that his uh, his back is arched and his fur is puffed up, making him look even more floofy than usual. Something wrong, Major? You tell me, human. Does that pile of rock look suspicious to you? Amongst the myriad uh, rock piles, I notice a small, contrived-looking calm. Fluffy Butts, uh, Fluffy Butts, right, it looks far more natural. That looks to me like it's asking to be inspected, Major. Well, I'll get to it, sir. You're the one with the phones. I begin to dismantle the small mound, rock by rock, 
It's not until the formation, uh, the foundation stone is removed that we find a manila envelope. Major, Luke, it's a letter. Luke's, Luke's rather large for a letter, my dear. I think you ought to open it. Yeah, like a base. Having got this far, I think it's only fair that I have an equal share of the spoils. Spoils? Yes, perhaps we should uh, loop right now, Major. How are you not saying Major like Snake does? I think because my vocal cords are strained enough as it is, but I can do if you want me to. Major. I just had a horrible idea. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I was going to say one of the characters can just have my solid snake voice, but that sounds like an awful idea. I think my vocal cords will just be destroyed by the end of the night. As I'm speaking, I've torn into the envelope. Well, no, we're dead. Hmm. Looks like a drawing. Oh, it looks like drawing, sorry. Well, what sorts of drawings? I'm not sure, but they look quite old. Antique, even. They have been Probably to someone. They appear to be sketches of people here in the uh, on the island, but I don't recognise anyone. Why would someone lead me to these? How do you know they uh, you weren't meant to find them? Because we followed a trail and it led us here. Actually, the trail ended a while back. This could be a mere coincidence. I hardly seem to see the intrigue in a few old squirrels. They show no artistic flair after all. At all. Even so, I'm going to hang on to these to see if they prove relevant to whatever mystery is unfolding here on this island. Fluffy Bud rolls his eyes. Really ought to focus more on the clues that matter instead of running around in the middle of the night on wild goose chase on wild goose chases. Let's head back before anybody discovers what you, that you're missing. I roll the drawing up and tuck them into my waistband. I will study them when I have more time. I think Fluffy Butt is probably right, but I don't want to miss a trick. From the unknown number, we now have Get Some Rest now, too. Finally, a sensible suggestion. I head after Fluffy Butt. Fluffy, Fluffy Butt, yeah, struggling to keep up. I really need some sleep. I agree. So is that the end of that one? Oh, it is, yeah. But it might have led on to something else. Let's see if we got any others. Uh, you have one heart remaining. If you choose to continue, it could have some negative consequences. You can restore hearts by choosing to rest. We're not doing that. But anyway, we're going to choose again. And we're going to do some last research with our uh, remaining health. How are you finding this so far? It's been interesting. I'll talk more about it in a bit, because I think we're probably going to finish this stream up after the death of Tim. <laughs> so, we have Research 5, 9, and tw uh, 12, and 16. Already seen this one. Uh, poor Socks doesn't, doesn't seem to be getting any better. Time to put my veterinary training to the test. Maybe we should go on to that one. Because um, that is a new one, and that is actually relevant to something we were doing before. Yeah, go on, let's do it. That's number 9. 116 green. I'm worried about socks. None of the treatment. We're going to die saving socks. It's a noble sacrifice of Tim. <laughs> None of the treatment so far seem to be clearing up his wounds. Cream 116 hasn't helped one bit. In fact, my gut feeling is telling me it may be the cause of the uh, deterioration. The entire site is now swollen and too sore to touch. Even with small cotton, with soft cotton pads, sorry. I decided to ask the professor for his advice. Sorry to disturb you, sir, but I need your advice on socks. Like, literal socks. He wants a picture of our socks. I snap a picture on my cat log and send it to the professor. Yes, that does look nasty. Have you tried Cream 116? I did. Sight worse. Swollen and inflamed. I suggest persevering. Cream 116 can take a while, but it will pay off. I feel doubtful, but resign myself to the professor's sincerity, seniority. If 
unsatisfied, try steroid formula from uh, in the fridge, red bag. I rummage around the fridge until I find the red bag behind a box of vitamin supplements. Got it. Thank you for your help, sir. I pour the milk into a small bowl and am relieved that Sock seems to like it. I sit with him as he laps it up and keep and keep an eye on him for a while. After about an hour, I'm satisfied that he's sleeping happily and all his vital stats are good. Is that it? Oh, that might be it. I've left my packed bag on the end of the jetty and have 10 minutes to find Snooty Booty to say my goodbyes. I have a pretty good idea where she'll be at this time of day, and I head to the shady spot of sand beneath the palm trees. Oh dear, it's the twilight of Tim, guys. Are you asleep? He doesn't stir. I wanted to say goodbye. I'm going to miss you. No response. She's dead, guys. And I have a small gift for you. A slight stirring. It's not much. A little token, really. But I thought I could rub some into your skin. For one last time. After that, maybe you can persuade uh, uh, the new assistant to help you with it. Once you get to know them. Just leave it there. I can't be bothered with it right now. The new one will do it later. We're already firm friends, are we really? I know she's fibbing, but I respect the way she wants to, display, uh, to play this out. Goodbye then, lady. It was a real privilege. Yes, I dare say it has. Uh, yeah, we just got friend zone, didn't we? I think that's another catastrophe right there. Maybe I'll be back before winter. I have so much information about the sickness and possible cure that I can't see it taking longer than a few months to make a successful antidote, especially with all the expertise on the mainland. Thank you, Serge. Salutes. It may only take weeks. Mm, don't tell Fibs. Why is there a uh, comma and an actual full stop there? It's most unbecoming, unless... Of course, you master the arts of dis disassembling in that way that I have. Now, run along, or you'll miss your boat. Don't worry about me. I shall be far too busy to miss you. Wow. Not so clever at dissembling as uh, she'd like to think. What are they on about? Oh, he's back. Hello, Joe. I was waiting at the jetty, holding my bag. You're late. It's only a minute, show. God, it's like you guys when I, like, sorted of stream a minute late. <laughs> you hardly look like the cat that got the cream. Oh, I got all the cream. And he begins his annoying laughter. <laughs> yeah. I think the blank spot is where your name was meant to be, but forgotten to add player name variable. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think you might be right about that, actually. Within minutes, we're out at sea. I'm looking back at my beautiful little island disappearing into the distance, and my heart stirs. You wish you were staying. I think I do, Joe. I'll miss it. And then? The cats, of course. <laughs> Mostly the cats. I made some really good friends amongst them. I mean, well, you know, I only really spoke to two of them. Dad! As soon as he shouts, the engine cuts. The boat comes to a standstill. Bob comes from the front cabin where he's been steering the boat. He's dead, isn't he? Oh no, he's there. This one no good, son. No, Dad. This one's no good. This one's got cat got the cat's whiskers. Oh dear, what's happened? He begins to laugh again, and my stomach flips. Um, what's going on? You go to the helm, boy. Leave this to me. <laughs> oh God. It's gonna murder me. You need a hand with that, Dad. No. I can manage. You steer the boat. I'm rigid with fear, as I realize they're referring to me. <laughs> Can't get shoes time. Do we have some kind of problem here, Bob? Not for me. It's not personal, you know. It's just, we can't take risk getting to the mainland. It's my job to contain it. Oh no, something's happened to Tim. 
And then Bob takes some kind of pistol from his jacket pocket and points it to me. What? Oh dear. Um, I was joking, but sit. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I think that deserves another catastrophe. Another two, potentially. It's complicated. No, that's three. That's three catastrophes right there. Bloody hell. I think that deserves plenty of catastrophes. Ending achieved friction. Tim ha may well have been murdered. Serge, you can change it up to the number that you want by simply typing the number instead of the plus mark, in case you didn't know. So you can um, add plus, like, instead of putting the plus, you can put nine, for example. I can't remember how many I said to add. I think it was eight. Yeah, there we go. Not 99. No. No, bad. Bad. That's the maximum number you can add in the first place. We need to carry this over to the next screen for the record, and there will be one. So, yeah. Um, well, we've made a bit more progress than Kevin made, at least. It's complicated with Snooty Booty. No successful date whatsoever. Oh dear. Uh, research complete. We got three bars of that. We got two bars of the recon. We got two bars of the date completed. As I mentioned, the ending achieved was friction. Complete playthrough. Oh, current playthrough. Sorry. Three research. Two recon. Zero cats romance. Um, 9.7 of an antidote. All time progress. 7.7% uh, of the total game seen. Two out of 18 endings found. One secret found. One secrets found. That's a that's a good, that's good wording right there. Um. Right. So, yeah, that, it was pretty catastrophic. It's a brutal ending for Tim, who just got shot, potentially. Or maybe he dived overboard, you never know. Tim made a secret <laughs> chime. Yeah, but we found that during our first playthrough. So that's not really good. We didn't find any with Tim. Tim, you're fucking useless. Anyway, you can continue, of course, and I think go on to the next character. I don't know what we should do in the next session. Should we, um, yeah... That's uh, Kevin over there, Tim over there, they've gone. I don't want to actually go into another playthrough, but it's actually forcing me to do so here. Can I not crash the game? Oh dear. Oops. I should have gone to the main menu, shouldn't I? Tell you what, can we just crash it? I'm sure that will have no adverse effects, surely. Hopefully it save the game. Yep, there we go. Now please register that I have stopped the game. Oh, you guys are going to have to live through the really loud intro cutscene again. Tim dated a cat at least, yeah, he didn't just say fuck the cats and leave. Here we go, he's coming back. Loud intro is loud. Ready to get your blow your heads blown off, guys. Hope you're looking forward to this. Right, so, endings found. Do they carry over? Oh, they certainly seem to, don't they? You see, in the next session, I don't know whether we should start a new game or continue playing this one that we already have. Because of the fact that we've already screwed up so phenomenally with uh, Kevin or Tim. Kevin and Tim, sorry. I suppose um, it wouldn't hurt to keep going. But there they are, I've fallen heroes, guys. One turned into a cat, one was shot in the head, potentially. I think we should continue, shouldn't we? We should continue, but yes, I think I would continue. Yeah, 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 I think so. I'm just worried that like this playthrough is already condemned to failure, given that we can't date all five cats, six cats, already. You know. But I don't know if that maybe carries over to a new game plus afterwards or something. You never know. I think this is about as many characters as the game can remember in the first place. Yeah, continue. It's interestingly, yeah, I actually really like the way this works. You know, it remembers your previous characters. That's pretty awesome. Well, I'm curious how it'll start with the next one. Maybe it'll rush the intro again. Because I, I thought it was kind of clever how it did that. It's amusing. Hi, Jen. Yeah, that's been amusing so far. But yeah, I will do another stream of this, I think. I don't know whether it'll be next week or maybe later on. But I will definitely do another stream of this. Just keep an eye on, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, wherever. And when I post the weekly updates, you'll see. And, well, of course, the schedule I put on Twitch, YouTube as well. I like how he called the woman Kevin, the women Kevin, and said, Well, it's a good name for a woman, Jen. Why don't you call Kevin or Tim? Change your name to Kevin or Tim. Or both. You could be Kevin Tim. Tim Kevin, or, you know, converge the two together. 
Tevin. Or Kim. Oh shit. It doesn't work, Jim. Can't do that. Um, anyway. Thanks for joining me for this, guys. And I just want to say thank you for all the follows, raids, hosts, and subscriptions as well. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, uh, like I said, we'll continue this in future. Now, I need to tell you what is set up for the remainder of the week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading another part of Tomb Raider Anniversary. That trash fire, a dumpster fire, going so well. And then, um, hopefully I'll be able to get back on track with it properly soon. Friday, I'm going to be streaming more Super Lucky's Tale, which uh, I have done the initial session of that. I did that a year ago. So I do apologize, but if you want to keep up with things, yeah, you can find that on my YouTube channel. I upload all, you know, streams and posts anyway. And then also on Saturday and Sunday, we got Bloodborne. Cool. So hopefully see you for that. That's 7pm GMT. And uh, with that, let's get a raid on the go. Uh, 